a clock on the game. All right, perfect. All right, and uh, what what? Listen, I, I'm just gonna put. What you want me to put? Okay, Gallagher. Is that the name you want to go by? What do you want me to put on? Yeah, there? sure. That's my old streamer name back when I used to. You used to stream. Uh, a long time ago. Yeah. Pronouns? Uh, she her, please. All right, there we go. All right, all right, all right. You're here. You uh, made it. You finally, you finally did it. You finally got to talk to me. I know. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Is it? I don't know. I know people are gonna get mad at me for talking to you, so that's more. That's unfortunate. Time. Don't you feel like that's kind of deranged? A few of my friends severely dislike you, and yeah, I'll happily say that it's a level of deranged, and I'm not gonna defend them or go against that. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird, right? Do you know why your friends dislike me? I don't want to have to speak on behalf of people I'm not. So yeah, that's fair. Um, I mean, I I'm just asking. I, I just mean I'm asking your impression. I'm not saying you gotta Look, speak on it. Do you know? I was asking I you genuinely. Do you know why? Outside of other drama, and I'd probably say you definitely eccentrically more left than most people in that group or myself. And then just general gender abolitionism, and I'd probably say if we were to put people in stupid like online Twitter camps, you definitely land more to that side of what I'd say being gender abolitional and hmm. far left than most people involved in there. So some people yeah. personalize and intensify that really hard and go very hard on it. I can say personally, you've made me feel shitty with some things you and your, I don't want to group you with other people as well, have said about gender abolition and isolation of that, but hmm. yeah. Oh, like what? Well, even just before you're saying, mm -hmm. and I, you, you did say, and I will clarify that you did not say this is the method forward for all trans people, mm -hmm. but just saying that I found healthy and happiness in engaging this as a form of isolation, no, not isolation, isn't it? as a rejection of all types, that doesn't work for all people. Some people feel the need to have some form of unification around these things. I don't think, did I say that? I don't think I said that. That's not the way I said that um, at all. I said rejecting a binary. That 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 a, a binding hmm. strict binary is what I reject. Yeah. I I still call and myself. I mean, I I identify very openly as a non-binary trans woman. I have a strong affinity for womanhood. I just reckon rec recognize that womanhood is a totally nebulous and ever shifting thing. That to draw a line around it would be like, I don't know. It'd be like trying to capture a river. If you captured the river, it would stop being a river. You can't. It's it's, it's a forever flowing whole... thing. We all have definitely at some point used the what is a chair argument. I don't think anyone would really fight against that, but there's obviously some form of social engagement we can address and assign to those topics. And so being able to feel some level of comfort, both socially, emotionally, and in your position and as a trans person unifying in that does have some level of grounding for some people. And I think to ignore well, that but I've never is argued to kind that. of disregard the thoughts. I've never done You've that. You've pushed against it pretty hard. I don't no, want to, I can't that's not true at all. all. That, that's not no? true. That's not even close to true. Um, like, I, I, I think that that's a total misunderstanding. Uh, and if you watch any of my videos on it, I don't think that, um, I don't know how you would come to that conclusion. I've, I'll admit I haven't watched much of, like, your direct content in quite a while. Well, you know, <laughs> I mean, that, that, that does tend to be the case with people who are very angry at me. Um, they usually get it, through, they angry. usually watch my yeah. stuff through somebody else, being filtered through... Usually there's one or two key streamers that I can think of who tend to have an ax to grind with me. Um, okay. But I mean, I, I don't know. I don't like, like, I don't know why, uh, I don't know where the idea, like I've never made the argument that there's not, um, that there's, again, I, I, I openly identify, I use she, her pronouns. I identify as a woman. Okay. Um, oh, actually, I did want to check that. I thought you were she, they, and I very often use. No, they, no, I don't even use they. I just don't like it. <laughs> like I just don't okay, personally. Well, for me, the, anyway. Okay, so I will even. Out, a few of my friends were doing whole misgendering at you, and I'm like, no, I, I've seen people use everything for them to, for her today. I need to clarify what are her, their pronouns, because I will I will pronoun Hitler correctly. That's my joke line. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, like, I, for me, I, I, uh, I use, I've used she, her pretty consistently across the board for my entire life. I've never even, uh, yeah, sorry, really sorry, I'm just laughing at that there's no transphobia in DGG. Good yeah. passing thing. Oh, yeah, that's one of our little, that's one of our little, uh, long standing memes from the ancient no, days. But um, that's a good one. Um, yeah. but they definitely is, but at the same time, and maybe I'm weird in this, sometimes, and this is probably part of the issue you take with me, I find, 
leaning in and confronting and engaging it and talking to those people who are like openly transphobic to you very beneficial and almost confirming this uh, that uh, i mean i don't know why you would think i would have an issue with that my entire channel was built off that like maybe this was before like you were aware of me but uh, uh, I, I was i was i was, I was the debate i was like the the oh, trans yeah. debate I, I since this. like, I, fuck, it, like two and all i did like i mean do you like like i i argued with the guy who uh screamed at me and said i was the trump of the transes uh that's like all i did i just got tired of it after a while yeah, but there not, became a point it's a great title yeah, I, I, we, I mean, people call me, people bring that up all the time, say the Trump of the trans is like, it's, it's fucking great. But uh, I don't know what, I still don't know what he was trying to say, uh, but whatever. Um, well, I mean, but the point is like, the, the thing is like, uh, like I, I, I don't know, I don't know where the idea that I don't engage with this. I mean, literally probably my most famous debate by sheer numbers is a debate on with destiny on transphobia. And me directly saying, I think that the way that you engaged in this, and I, it's funny because people misrepresent that argue, that debate so much, so much. It's insane how much they do. It's like it's, it's like almost. I, like, I'll admit I have not seen a debate with you. Yeah, Destiny, so well, I can't make comments. It was definitely very spicy. I was not nice. I was not super nice to him. But to be fair, he wasn't being oh, nice to me either. But um, I, I fought with Destiny as well. I have DMs between him of him yelling at me. So that's yeah. Destiny people. But the uh, but yeah, I mean, I I I uh, I argued with him, and I explicitly even said I don't even think he's a transphobe. Um, well, that was at that time. Um, well, I don't know how I feel now. Yeah. But regardless, this is the, we're getting off the point. The point is, like, I don't, I don't disagree with engaging. I just like um, that the the result was a never ending deluge of genuine, insane harassment. Some of which comes from members of your uh, of your clutch. I don't know what the word, what the right word to be is. Your your brood. Uh, well, I've officially renamed in. it now the deranged dipshit Blanchardy and transphobe chat, uh, so we can call uh, it that. Yeah, well, uh, I can't help but feel like uh, my previous statements on the matter still hold. Um, okay, so but, there's an interesting comment you made there that I sure. might be where we take the core disagreement in. Sure. I will, I'm will. i not going to defend the actions of DGG. I've had them come for me. They are a deranged cesspool yeah, of spicy shit posters. But as an ex-member of that community as well, I wouldn't debate that, and yeah, of course I am. But the problem there is, I also would agree I don't think Destiny is a transphobe, but I would say I do think he's a transmedicalist, and would you take issue with those two statements being separate? Um, well, I mean, did you did you just watch my segment where I was talking about transmedicalism? Did you, or did you pop in after that? I think I caught a bit of it. I caught the very start of it when you said I was sitting at the table with Nazis because I got sent that. Oh, and then yeah, that was that was the previous myself. segment. That was before that. That was the Brianna Wu segment where yeah, uh, I, I was talking about in my Nazi incredible club. frustration. But um, I, okay, so let's talk about this uh, and let's divorce it from wait, uh, fucking okay, smell. Quickly, from, for the record, yeah. I am not making apologies, comments, or statements on the thoughts of anyone else in that chat. No, am I going to reveal who's in the chat or speak directly to anyone to. involved? Don't worry. Good. I'm not going to ask you to do any of that. that. Don't Thank worry. You. I don't care. I would much rather talk about the... I'd rather focus on the ideas. So... We need um, to talk yeah. about this. Let's... Okay. Uh, but, but yeah. So, okay. So, uh, with the idea of transphobe and transmedicalism, I just did a big segment about transmedicalism, like, right before we started, right before the, the whatever this has been, uh, happened. I want to just check, because I feel like I messaged a friend, because I caught a little bit of this. But, um, I, yeah, uh, you said transsexualism is biofascism? I think with a quote no. from Elaine? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Uh, See, your friends, it. your friends, they have the disease. There's this disease. You may have heard of it. Uh, maybe this is why I got called the Trump of the Transes, but it's but it's called Demon Mama Derangement Syndrome. And it's when people can't actually hear what I'm saying. They cannot possibly engage with what I actually said. I did not say that. Excellent. What I said is, is that uh, transmedicalism has, there's a broad uh, set of people who fall into the transmedicalist label, but it has a tendency to collapse uh, into, at its worst, uh, biofascism. And that I 100% believe and made an entire argument about it. And I'll make it again here if you would like me to. Um, Transmedicalism um, as a uh, idea set uh, results in 
uh, essentially handing the validation of your internal identity and your body um, over to medical authorities uh, who are um, not always going to be your friends, who are very frequently in history um, hijacked by hostile forces, um, and sometimes just completely malignantly mis misunderstand like what you are and who you are. And that is sort of categorically, definitionally what biofascism is. It, the ability of an institution to be able to control your body and direct you towards its own ends. Um, uh, and yeah, I think that, I'll, I don't think most trans medicalists fall into that category, but some certainly do. Um, and uh, I think a lot of them uh, fall into this, They. I think a lot of trans medicalists come from a position of fear um, and unintentionally uh, end up uh, absorbing Hitler particles over time and get, and if you follow the so lines of Hitler logic, what's How that? How many particles do I have to include? What's Sorry, that? Sorry, continue. I was thinking oh, no. of Hitler joke. Continue. Sorry. Uh, yeah, no, I, I just think that, um, yeah, I think that the, the Hitler particles build up sometimes, uh, actually frequently, and that if you follow the lines of logic to their logical conclusions, that you end up with a position where the entire identity group, the entire definition of the group is in the hands of a institution that we don't have control over, that the group has no control over. Um, and obviously, that poses major issues um, in a, a ton of circumstances. I mean, uh, I talked about in my segment just a few minutes ago, um, the way that, that DeSantis did exactly what I'm talking about, um, using his power as governor to appoint a medical board that essentially uh, uh, deleted the, the validity of trans people in his state and destroyed the ability to access care. And that is a strictly, that is, that is a valid trans medicalist conclusion is to say, hey, but these guys are the medical authorities. If they say we're not valid, I mean, you can throw as many books at them as you want, but they're the authorities in the end. And that's the problem. That's the problem in my mind with the trans medicalist approach is that it ultimately is passing the the key. It's passing the, uh, the, the it's a, it's a it's a process that build that that accepts that the power must be in the medical institution and not in the individuals or the group as it uh, that is being talked about. It is uh, it is, um, yeah. So and I don't think that all trans medicalists are 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 that far. I think a lot of trans medicalists are um, acting um, out of. Uh, fear or a hope to win certain concessions from certain institutions, which is not an invalid position. But I think that the that that it's a uh, it's not just a half half step. It's just a an imp, it's a bad strategy. And at its worst form, at the end of it, it leads to a domination. It leads to building a system of domination for trans people. There's an interesting point in all of this you just said, which I have mused on and had discussed before. And I'm curious because I feel I definitely think we landed on opposite sides. But one thing that always comes up, and there are definitely correct points in the argument you just made and the overall arching issues. Mm -hmm. But does are we also, in a weird way, if we removed the sentence trans from any of that conversation, are we kind of discussing statism versus anarchism? Because I've noticed that oh, there's absolutely. a political tie to concept of anarchist tendencies and beliefs in the abolition and the self tyrant, and then also to status ties because mm -hmm. well not gonna out anyone but pretty much everyone in like what you're calling the dipshit transmed chat i'd probably say is center left to a couple would be center right but okay. all would probably be statist sure and i actually would be super curious to poll almost all anyone you'd probably consider transmed or potentially anyone that we'd consider i'm, I'm gonna be just say more trans further left let's say gender abolitionists non-binaries I don't like even using that term, but we could probably unify and we know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I imagine you're going to find a further level of anti-state, more libertarian, socialist, or anarchist political views. Mm -hmm. I do find it interesting that we're technically talking about a medical issue that has a very direct tie to the concept of one's being, but we're then almost making a statism argument about it. Well, which I is mean, I, I not don't... an incorrect criticism. I don't disagree, but it's interesting that I think it's unavoidable. Individual thing always... I, I think it's completely unavoidable. And the reason for this, I mean, I could, I, if you want to get theory about it, and if like that's something that you're into, you could just read Foucault. 
uh, who, Have you, you know. I've read a little of Foucault, but I don't know that. Foucault, years, really Foucault like, spent a lot guess. of time detailing the intertwined, the intertwined nature of medical establishments in the state. There's, mm -hmm. that's, but I, 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 uh, I think that, that, I think it's impossible almost to not uh, acknowledge both of them. And I mean, I, I don't think that's even like, I don't even think it's a matter of like, the conversation is turning into one about that. I just think that, that there's a certain amount of reality that's that but can I mean, you... you're talking about politics you're talking about uh about politics from the from the get-go of course we're acknowledging um that this is all unfolding on a political landscape so inevitably there is going to be reflections from the conversation about um you know the critiques of anarchists against the state in a subsection of the state which is medical institutions which are often <laughs> directly controlled by the state or if not um heavily heavily uh, uh, impacted by it. So you're not incorrect there, and I can definitely agree with in fear everything you just said. I think it almost comes to this. You said a fear, but I'd also m almost make the argument that most trans medicalists I know are much more almost a form of hopeful that they can improve politically via state writing and with some form of definition or ability to define themselves and the issues and medical issues surrounding them some level of improving state infrastructure and ability to improve the standard of living via community support and the state-based medical system. And I think the interesting part there is that you phrase it as a fear, because personally for me, like I'm lucky, I live in Australia. Trans rights in Australia are doing great right now. We're improving them constantly. We're increasing funding, medical access is getting better. Yeah, there's still wait time issues. Surgery is a big issue here, but overall the board it's a lot doing positive, and that is because we've had success at electing progressive, center, and left-wing political parties pretty consistently from a state level. And so I can okay. say I'm at least hopeful for that. But uh, the problem is, I, I feel we are almost. I don't. I don't want to interrupt you or anything, but I feel like um, I'm sorry, and I'm sorry to interrupt, but I I I don't know as much about uh, Australian politics, but also mm, yeah, um, I, I don't think American that there's. I don't well. have any problem with any of those things. I'm not, uh, people have all kinds of, of, of things that they believe about my positions, um, but and I don't I have, have any problem admit, about I working against and grappling. I have a opinion on what you believe, but maybe that's kind of the interesting issue of your saying Trumpian, because there's, even if it's not exactly what you said, a nebulous belief of thoughts that come out from you feeling like you support these things. Which um, could just be a community tone policing issue. That's. I mean, like I think I I think that a lot of the people in your immediate friend group, and I don't know about you, but a lot of them have uh, have consumed an incredible amount of content uh, from people who actually hate my guts and who have completely lied about me and been deranged towards me. So I think like that who? I think that literally. You, mean you want know, <laughs> you want me to call it out? I'll destiny then. There you go. There you have it. A guy who wrote fucking two manifestos about me. Man's deranged, but we don't. Ha I don't want to spend this whole conversation going on about that. But I just want to say that like a version of me has been conjured, uh, that is like, uh, it's really funny. It's like a, it's like a big boss type situation. You ever played Metal Gear? No, I haven't played Metal oh, Gear. Okay, so. damn. Yeah, there's a there's a a real person, and then there is the legendary version, and the legendary version of me uh, is a villain. Uh, uh, I sometimes joke. Uh, actually, I've, I've joked multiple times on my stream about the the fact that uh, people think that I'm like Heisenberg, you know, uh, Walter, the Walter White of Washington. Uh, that's like the perception that people have. They just never engage with anything that I've actually said. They just have their their exterior crafted by somebody else fictional version. But the point that I'm saying here is uh, the, 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 the underlying point is. I don't have any problem with people working together to um, to make changes within a state system while we're all fucking chained up in the machine of the state. I do tend to have a lot of affinity for anarchist thought because I think that it's highly liberatory. Um, uh, but uh, but I also very much believe um, in tactics and and in, and in strategy, but I just, I just don't agree that the transmedicalist strategy is the one. In fact, I think it's actually uh, historically um, proven to be dangerous. Um, and, and, and earlier when I was talking about this, I gave some examples here in the US. I mean, my state that I live in and stream from Washington 
has constitutional protections for the right of tra rights of trans people um, and gender nonconforming people. Um, it wasn't done through a medicalist argument. It was done through a uh, human rights, equal rights, and bodily autonomy approach. That was the what won people over and got them to vote in this change. Um, it wasn't by saying like, um, like it wasn't it wasn't done by saying like oh um, here is these people they have a disorder and now we should file them under disabled people or anything like that it was just wow trans people are people they have a right to access everything else they shouldn't be discriminated against like anybody else they've experienced discrimination enough that we need to point this out uh, that gender and sex are categories that you can't be discriminated against on and here are the the we're going to make sure we explicitly put that into the constitution and that has a that's a huge change that's not an e and that's, that's not a change that's easy to undo and it doesn't and also and you'll note it doesn't it also doesn't uh I mean, it's still a right. So if you want to go full into anarchist critique, there's limitations there too. But it's not a. Uh, I don't we don't have to. Anarchism that much. Well, that's what I was. Gonna, that's what I'm saying. You know, I don't know how much I, I, you want to do it. I could. Your, I could say. your chat's gonna hate me. I would consider myself center, a centrist, maybe slightly center right, and I'm definitely a statist. So sorry. But um, yeah, well, the one no, thing yeah, you, know. you do beg, we can fight about that some other time. The one thing you make me think about, which is an issue for me personally, how do you then? make the argument that governments should give some form of level of medical or surgical care to people if the current prevailing trend is away from diagnosation or issues or it being medical conditions i mean it, that that depends on the legal structure like, of where you are but well, um, okay so well, he, yeah the exact, okay, the but, yeah, would but, be, but also say, uh, uh but but just to address that broadly um, mm -hmm. You don't have to, uh, cis people don't have to make an argument that cis people specifically need to have access to medical care. Um, all people do. Well, you can't discriminate yeah, the medical. You make a law so, that says, "Hey, sorry, if you're going to operate as a hospital in our in our area, you can't discriminate against people. If they need medical care, agreed. you go in." I mean, hey, a perfect example of this is uh, is laws that are in place right now that uh, state that uh, you can't turn someone away because they can't pay. You can't turn someone away at an emergency room mm -hmm. because they can't pay. You don't have to have any I, diagnosis I live, for I live in a, I live in a smart right. country where medicine's free. So, um, yeah, well, you know. so that's not an issue. Um, the problem there is, so let's say for example, so everyone has the right to get a surgery, but it, what if surgery is classified as a personal choice and not a medical thing and therefore is not covered outside of out-of-pocket payment? Wait, you're talking about, um, sorry, sorry, can you restate that again? I just want to make sure I heard you correctly. So going back to this point I brought up, let's say in the example, let's say that hormones is covered, that uh -huh. it all counts as medical care, but sure. surgeries in particular are classified as a personal choice and not medically necessary. They are not covered as medical treatment, they are covered as a personal surgery. How do you make an argument outside of some people want it for what reason to encourage a government to then cover that under medical? Um, for any for any surgery, I mean, I feel like there's a lot of ways you could make that argument, right? Okay, sorry. You could say, uh, "Hey, hello, people uh, die and suffer um, if they if they don't get this thing." I feel like that's fairly easy to do. Uh, like, well, I don't know. Fact, I don't know. Which, I'm a little confused. Well, the thing is, though, but you're saying people die and suffer. Why yeah, do sure. they die and suffer? Well, I mean, that's complicated, right? Like, uh, that's a super complicated question. Well, we're talking directly about dysphoria and suffering from suicidal ideation. Okay, so, I mean, if you want to be very specific to trans things, you, you want to know yeah, how, well, how you make the, the argument for... About. You want to make the argument for how you convince... Um, for how you convince... Um, the average 40-year-old cis wine mom. I mean... Personally, I think the uh, the 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 best way that you can make that argument is to say, well, okay, if you're trying to convince a random individual person, it's fairly I'm easy. Trying to, you go, hey, I'm trying to convince. This is a pressing population. issue for some people. Uh, people seek this out and and want this. They want to be able to take care of their body. There is something that can arise in one way or another. Like, I mean, I don't know. You can you could talk about a lot of things. You could talk about dysphoria. I've never I've never said anything about talking about dysphoria. I do that all the time. I talk about the importance of dysphoria. But um, so but also like um, people like okay th th when you're talking if you're talking about like how to get insurance and whatever. Um, that's a really fucked conversation. And the reason why I say that is because uh, fucking 
okay, here's an example. I'll give a personal example. A couple of years ago, uh, my gallbladder was actually killing me. And uh, like it was, it was, it was like pain daily, de debilitating mm. pain. This was before I was a streamer. And I, I've had similar issue. Yeah. And, uh, but d regardless of the debilitating pain, um, regardless of the fact that it was like, um, ruining my life, the, the, the state that I was in categorized a, uh, gallbladder removal surgery, unless the gallbladder was literally rupturing and threatening my life, um, mm -hmm. as an, uh, elective surgery, which meant, um, that while it was still covered, um, it was low priority, which meant I got bumped for somewhere between six to seven months where every single day I was in debilitating pain and that was considered mm. elective because of a, not for, because of nonsense. Now, if I was dealing with something like that, I would say, hey, it's pretty weird um, that a doctor or a team of doctors can all verify, hey, there's this, this, uh, you know, this organ is full of stuff it's full of uh, uh, stones or crystals or whatever they are. Uh, and this person is is reporting pain over and over and over again. Um, but you're saying that they have to be on the brink of death before this is even approved. Um, okay. And I think you could make that argument. And I think if you're talking about trans things, you could say anything okay. from, um, I mean, the easiest way would to- would, can, can, I, can, I, can I retort to that one before you make the next sure, question, sure, please? Sure, go ahead, sure, go ahead. So the, the issue I have with there is both of us can vary in, uh, you're a lot more left than me, but both of us can instantly say majority of the average Joe would see that and say, yes, that's a failure in the medical system and we should do better to reassess how right. doctors assess that and the priority of that care. Sure. And I don't think either of us would either agree, should be free, should be covered by the government, should be all, We no one's going to disagree with that here. Well, and that's pretty normal. Also for do. chat, oh, yeah. even though I'm saying I'm a centrist, I'm Australian centrist, so I support universal healthcare and th that's medicine should, should all be covered. The problem there is, we're talking about a failure in the current system, and we both agree that upping and improving and changing the level of medical care would be the solution and the movement forward. Well, sure, yeah. uh, of course, yeah, but right? But that doesn't track well onto trans issues because then how do you make the level? How do you make the level of claim that this is a serious issue that needs a level of medical Wait, care? In the exact, in the exact same way, the prevailing narrative, the increasing prevailing narrative that a lot of it is a personal choice. And that most people do not require hormones or surgery because mm, that is the there, current that's, increasing. I think that's a misrepresentation. Majority. I think that's a, a huge no, misrepresentation. That, that is the. I'm not. It's a I, loaded way of saying it, but is that I think you. I think you're mis. I think you're actually like completely misrepresenting. I don't think anybody frames it as that. I think what people are willing to, uh, what people will say, um, is like what I say. Like I mean, I. Uh, you 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 came in here very confident in, in categorizing me as a gender abolitionist, which you know what I think it's it's fine. I don't really get mad at that. I always call myself people who watch my content know uh, I always call myself a gender ascensionist. Uh, that I think we need to move above and beyond the Look, uh, binary. Oh, but God. regardless, but you're, you're, it's the same thing. When it's not really the, the same definition. thing. But I mean, it is. It is in some ways, and it isn't. It, but but I, I understand, and I don't get super mad when people categorize me as a gender abolitionist. But um, even as a gender abolitionist, um, uh, like like that position, like there's nothing in my position ever that says anything against dysphoria. I talk about my own dysphoria all the time. I just. I just am willing to point out that dysphoria isn't the only isn't the only thing that matters, and also that dysphoria is contingent. Um, earlier, uh, I, I feel like I've, I addressed so many of the things we're talking about in my section earlier, but it's fine. Um, earlier, I was talking about the fact that, like, um, let's say, let's give an imaginary uh, like trans teen, okay. Who um, yeah. who uh, says? Oh my God! Okay, I don't want to go through male puberty. I would. I know what what type of body I want. They might not have any dysphoria. They might be looking at the future and be going, I don't want to go through that. I want to go. I want my body to develop in this direction. And they would not have dysphoria, um, but they might develop dysphoria if they are forced then to go through the wrong puberty. Um, and I think that's the case too. I think that um, when people say like, you don't have to have dysphoria to be trans, what they're saying is, is that not everyone frames it in that, in that reference. 
Um, but I do think that if you push people for long enough, that it could that almost anybody could develop dysphoria. Um, I think even cis people could develop dysphoria um, and do. Um, but uh, but I just don't. On that take. Day. What's that? Sorry, what's that? I, I don't know if you could define dysphoria being the same thing in a cis person and a trans person. The oh, I absolutely is... think you could. If uh, an example of this, I can give you a perfect example right now that I think it would be impossible for you to deny that this is gender dysphoria. Please do um, not say like hair replacement counts as gender affirming care. What? Wait, wait. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it yeah, absolutely say, fucking care, does. Right? But, but uh, my God. Uh, but no, like uh, here's an example. A cis man starts to age. Um, as he starts to age, he develops gynecomastia. This causes uh, him to feel invalidated or less of a man. Um, and uh, and it, it starts to lead for, to him feeling unconfident. That is gender dysphoria. Absolutely, unequivocally gender dysphoria. I, okay, uh, so this if, guy if doesn't we... feel like as much of a man because he's de begun to develop traits that aren't usually associated okay. with the gender that he sees himself as. Absolutely. If you want That's to go a, a level above, and we can then say we're talking about cross-sex gender dysphoria, not g gender dysphoria of cis people. If you want to make that argument, that is the definition you're using, then I will accept that, but I'm specifically talking about cross-sex dysphoria of trans people. So well, yeah, but I mean, don't you feel like you're now just kind of like, now you're just kind of uh, like being obtuse like you're not engaging with what's actually going on there that the fact that dysphoria can be caused this g gender dysphoria can be caused by a lot of things that that uh, you're just sort of like playing around with the definition to try and be like well that doesn't count but it does the reality is that if I'm people are forced if people are forced to live with with a body that uh that doesn't make them happy um and of course, we're right now in this conversation fixating on, um, we're focusing on gender. Um, you know, we could talk about lots of other things. We could talk about weight, we could talk about all kinds of things, but we're focusing on gender. Then I think that the point is, is that people not being allowed, we, we can observe to a great degree um, that people, when they are not allowed to, uh, to shape their body as they will to fit to the way that they see it, their gender identity, especially in societies where gender is so strong, as in, you know, uh, Australia and the UK and the United States, where gender is a huge part of our lives, that it causes intense suffering, um, sometimes even small changes. Like, for example, um, another example, and I think that a lot of people could understand this, um, cis women, um, as, as they age, often uh, develop some amount of facial hair. There's an entire, you want to know where, you know that like electrolysis and laser places, most of their clients are cis women, not trans people. And the reason for that is because um, lots of cis women have hormonal changes throughout their life, sometimes pregnancy, sometimes menopause, whatever, and they start to develop facial hair. And it's so, uh, it's so upsetting um, that they'll spend th sometimes thousands of dollars to have it taken care of. Um, and if they don't, if they can't, it can, it, 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 like, it's been well documented that, that this becomes a psychological burden, that it sometimes like severely tortures people. That is a form of gender dysphoria. And um, so I think that we can, we can point at that and we can say, yeah, um, as it turns out, anybody, cis or trans, um, if their bodies uh, are, are change against their will, um, and they're forced to live with that, that it will, it will, it can very often and very often will um, cause a great psychological distress. And we should acknowledge that, hey, yeah, actually um, we can, we've observed all of this across a whole group of people. Maybe, bob, maybe bodily autonomy is really fucking important um, to humans generally. And maybe we should consider that um, in, uh, in what we uh, consider important surgeries, right? Okay. So the thing is, though, I don't disagree with anything you've said. What you've said there is basically pretty factually correct. I still take issue with using... Damn! Gender abolition is now! Woo! No. The problem there is, you kind of have to get to some point where, are we just saying any change someone needs that could reduce any form of mental discomfort, dysphoria, or anything for every person of any situation should just be fully covered by the state? I mean... Because how do you run if... that economic policy by people?
That's it, the problem. You, I, 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 I mean, you, I think that barring... You, you, um, end, you, you run up against a wall of just an absolute everything or nothing abolition like mm. that's the problem that's not what i'm arguing i mean i think I'm we can i think we can obviously uh, say that there are probably edge cases um where you know but what is that edge are... well i don't Agreed. know but but i mean i think well, that i think that i mean that, that's a whole that's a separate discussion like the edge is a different question i think that we can say not because uh, no 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 hold on, edge hold on. you gotta let me finish I, I think that we can like not only can we afford but it would be good for the world if we had the bar way higher than it is now. And I think that all trans people, non-binary, deer, whatever type you want to go into, w could be completely covered without it even being a noticeable dent in the finances of our of, our, of, of any of our countries that we're talking about here. US, UK, Australia, medical system would never be burdened no matter how, uh, no matter how much, every, even if every trans person got every surgery that they wanted, it would be negligible. It would be marginal, literally when we're talking about so, the scale. So I don't think, I think the economic argument is silly. I think you just point out, hey, this is pretty important. Um, we should allow for this to happen and have a reasonable path uh, for people to be able to get what they need. Um, and I, not, I uh, it's been done here. I was in my say, state, uh, in my dystopian? What's that? No, not even a little. No, um, you don't, or Oregon you don't think and Washington you don't are think, two. You, you don't think to just the random middle, I don't know, middle-aged swing voter in, I don't know, Utah, that that's a pushable and convincible. No, I think it's, to I think it's, I think it's totally policy? capable. I mean, first of all, I don't think, uh, I don't think you're going to actually be arguing that to those people very often, but no, but I think you can, that's the I think I'm you can talking. make the, I think you can make the argument very easily. You just have to be confident and not, and have a spine. I would be more than happy to make this argument, and in fact, I have. I've, I've, I've it's talked just, to my family I back should... home about this, and also, okay. it's already worked. But also, it's already worked. Uh, they've already gotten it through in play in in Oregon. We, I just had an interview with uh, one of my viewers from Oregon, who's super involved there. Uh, Oregon covers without question um, anybody uh, anybody making thirty five thousand uh thirty five thousand dollars or less no questions asked all trans surgeries anyone that you can imagine laser um you know hair hair replacement uh all of that stuff all those gender affirming things are all completely covered by the state from a st from a top-down level you have to provide these things insurance co uh insurance companies operating in the state have to cover these things and, and it's not awesome. and it's and, yeah but it's and not it's problem. but it's you're, not you're, utopian you're that's that's the thing it's is. only utopian but if no, you convince no. yourself that it's impossible if you start from yeah. the position this is impossible, then of course the, what the, this you're is called assuming is... for some reason that trans like med people don't think that's good. We do. The problem is, how's that going in Florida? Well, Florida has wait. Ho well, hold on a second. The struggle in Florida is completely different, and part of the reason that the struggle is different in Florida is because Florida is is structured from uh from uh uh uh. uh, 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 uh decades upon decades of uh of of building executive power in the office of the governor and yeah yes. um uh the struggle in florida is completely different but um newsflash you're not gonna lobby uh you're not gonna lobby fucking ron DeSantis. Uh, who just went out of his way uh, to 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 don't say gay and to explicitly replace fire and replace everyone on the board? Okay, uh, so I'm not talking about Ron DeSantis. You I'm have not you have to the, Ron DeSantis. the question in Ron DeSantis in Florida. The question in Florida is no, question a lot I'm closer to. to that anarchist corner than you'd like to uh, than you perhaps no, would like to talk about. Because I think you have to get way more serious if you're talking about well, a. A, running down the uh, exact political issues in Florida is a completely different topic. I gave it as a random example of a state doing badly, sure. and you know that. Mm -hmm. um, the point I'm bringing up there is I'm not trying to argue to Ron DeSantis. I'm trying to argue to a swing voter, and I'm at the end of the day, I have to go, what do I think is going to be an easier argument and more convincing for the current state of trans healthcare at the moment is that some trans people have mental health conditions that require government-backed financial mm -hmm. and medical support mm -hmm. after diagnosation. I gotta, I gotta give you a news flash here. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta check to you argue. here, okay? Neither of them. Sure. That is not. Neither of it's... these is going to be how you talk to somebody in Florida about this. The way that you talk to people in Florida to convince them <laughs> is you go, man, that guy Ron DeSantis, you know how you, uh, let's say, let's say that they're a uh, swing voter, okay? 
Hey, Rhonda, yeah. you, you're you're a you're a uh, centrist. You care about you know the government being checked. This guy Ron DeSantis is going fucking crazy up here. This motherfucker it, it just fired the entire medical board because he's so angry about trans people. Trans people are like one percent. He's 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 completely overriding the government because uh, and and taking your tax money and wasting it on a war against trans people. Are you okay with that? Are you okay with him using his weird freakish obsession to cost you money? They had to fire all these experienced people and hire a bunch of new ones and you'd burn your tax dollars that's how you make an argument in florida you don't yeah. ever you're never going to make an argument with a florida swing voter about whether or not uh about whether or not you know uh, the agps should be considered on the on the health care plans it's just that's ridiculous even it's, it's grass touching level. i know but you know Sorry, what no. i'm getting at right like you're never going to be making that type of argument uh, uh, trying to slice the difference the between a they, is, them, um, or a she, her, like you, you, you point. <laughs> it's, a, it's a totally different battle. And you, you have to, you have to, you know, it's a- Yeah, okay, yeah, I know. would, the problem is you keep running to very, very, very specific arguments and which what? I agree with you. Yes, you, like, you're gonna make a better chance arguing more like libertarian policy with a random, I don't know, soybean farmer in florida i don't know what they farm in florida sorry <laughs> but um uh, the point florida? there is uh, we you keep ignoring it's probably oranges it's probably racist yeah, oranges oranges, let's be honest. oranges <laughs> sugar cane in some areas uh you get some corn on the northern part yeah lots of oranges the, the problem there is we're still ignoring i just said soybean because you guys so chaps asking about soybeans you guys are the number one producer of soybeans in the world so i assumed I, you grow them there. um yeah, America's, you're the most soy country in the world. Get wrecked. Sorry. Um, Listen, the point that there's, I'm a, there's is... soy in fact and there's soy in spirit. And uh, <laughs> I would say I would say that, that, the, uh, that the Australians are soy in spirit. But honestly, nah, you, you, you know, your country actually has some, uh, has some chops. You guys are like, your country is famous for like the YouTubers that just like paddle out on a piece of wood and then like, T touch a whale's tail randomly and they're like whoa this is fucking crazy there's a whale's tail and i'm paddling on a piece of rotten wood wow anyway so we have to do that for your 12 sorry. graduation at the whole ceremony don't worry about it yeah, um it. no the problem is the problem is and it just feels like we're ignoring the fact of and i feel the problem is every single trans med or even like transphobe i'm gonna say people in your chat i'm not saying you but especially and people that are saying my crazy T turf eugenesis transmed friends was the one i got told yeah, earlier i mean yeah i'm sorry you gotta own up to it at some point i i'm happy to i'm literally made you said you didn't want to sort your friends but i mean goddamn, some of your friends are they're not deranged. making comment on individual people i i happily own it i've made depressed queen of the transsexual transmeds my twitter handle because it's funny <sighs> um the point there is oh. That's we sick. keep feeling like, what well, I can laugh at it, so okay, at least I can do that. Right, if you say so. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, the point there is, God, we can catty to each other. Um, we're Don't ignoring you. the public. <laughs> Wait, that was catty. Oh, I can oh, man, let's take it up to the next level. No, but uh, let's not. Let's not. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So, is, what's the problem? Feels what's like the problem? We're that you're constantly ignoring the argument of what is the public discourse and what is and not the end goal, because I don't think anyone on my side, I'm going to use my side nebulously, says that's the end goal. But with the current issue and the decline and the reversal and the current declining opinions on trans and mixed and non-binary popular and mm, support, that really it is it... declining. Because it is right now. No, that's, and... that is not accurate. And, and let me explain a couple of things. So first of all, uh, I'm sorry, this is gonna come off a little mean. I cannot think of any other way. No, but, be um, mean. You, but, I don't but, mind but, proving mean to But me. your faction are losers, okay? <laughs> um, the trans meds represent a, a hyper minority and you they mostly do what you guys do, which is bitch about other people in group chats. You wanna talk about the people who are fucking grappling every single day with the psychopath Nazis, anti-trans Nazis, the, the right wing position on trans people right now is universally every trans person is a groomer. I'm not that like- is, No, it's not. No, it it's absolutely is. No, I'm sorry. No, listen. It absolutely like fucking is. If you go, no, 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 I'm sorry. Listen, listen, listen. 
the right wing position. I just watched the fucking presidential debates. Vivek Rams Ramswamy, Ron DeSantis, D Donald Trump. Donald Trump earlier this year gave a giant speech about how uh, the trans agenda is mutilating kids. That the average, your average Republican probably doesn't think that but the messaging on no. the top level oh, yeah no, absolutely yeah, does. yeah okay sorry sorry if you wanted to say the current populist trend in the political party of the gop is that sure but we're not talking about that i'm talking about average right-wing people i feel but like average have right -wing... Such a, it's a range warping view on what the average conservative thinks no like you can't pull that with me you can't pull that with me and you want to know why because i fucking grew up in this shit okay I didn't, I, I'm not a lifelong leftist, okay? That's not, I grew up in a Christian cult. The entire, my entirety of the childhood was, was in the deepest red family you can possibly imagine. My entire fucking family that disowned me are all a bunch of Republicans. I know their talking points. I know this shit intimately, okay? The right wing, especially right now, the Trump cult is insane. Um, I know so many people who who literally cannot sit down and have a conversation with their family anymore because their family's brains have been fried by Donald Trump. And I mean that. Oh, yeah. They're not even, the, no, they don't on. even resemble the people they were a few years ago. I, uh, the, 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 the average Republican voter is a very, is a very odd, uh, uh an odd thing, uh, to talk about because it depends. If you're talking about the Trump okay, yeah. cult right people, now, is the state which, of straight up American politics is a Trump cult? Yes. Yes, it's but a I'm Trump not cult. About and Trump the, the and the and and also here's the thing. They're a minority. They are a minority. Okay. Okay, but like, um, I'm not so, talking about that. I'm talking about the average shit random posting internet user. Like, okay, but I don't care about the random shit posting internet u user. The ninety percent of them, uh, fucking watch TikToks and think that a uh, that they they see a, a a smudgy shape and they go, oh, that's the fairy that was on the mountain. They're like, oh, this video that I saw that said that this radio tower is a giant. They think that's plausible. I don't care about the random shit stain user. Uh, uh, but they're I, the ones voting. They're Lots not. Aren't voting. They're not. Nobody aren't votes voting. in America. Exactly. I hate to tell you this. Nobody votes true. in America. I know your so, country sucks. No, they're Man, not. The people who are voting are people who are the people who are voting are people who are politically active. And among the politically active space, you have a majority of people are libs and Democrats, who by by and by by and large at this moment in time are super cool with the they them army that you are so afraid of okay they actually uh by and I'm large with a few ex <laughs> I'm, I, I'm being a little bit exaggeratory but the uh the the fearsome they them army is totally fine with the 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 main bulk of of like your average wine mom libs they're that's the that's what they 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 get their like their disney uh corporate whatever and they're like okay that's fine they don't give a shit especially about uh, people who take your position. In fact, they don't even know what that it's it's incomprehensible to them. And then your average Republican who is super politically active is in the Trump cult and is totally in with this groomer shit. And uh and it's it's a uh, uh it's a matter right now in this particular moment, it's a matter of doing everything that you can to activate as many left-leaning and liberal people to vote as possible because we greatly outnumber them. And you don't get that by throwing by by like being weird and psychotic for no real reason question so you do you get that via dragging one of the largest queer people doing current politics unifying streamers and leftists to go out and vote right now for some personal comments they made in a private group chat um that that's seems a weird loaded question, question. Just made. that's a weird that's well, a yeah. weird loaded no, that, question that was, was no because really uh, <laughs> did you did you listen to anything i said at the first point yes i did okay think is... about this okay hold on hold on this is this is a moment where I I uh, I'm I'm really trying not to be mean, but take the boot. Be mean. Take the boot out of the mouth for a second. Somebody who is Hey, do not make fun of my foot fetish. Oh, well, all right, I know something about you now. But no, um, I, I, I do uh, not. I'm but, very anti it. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Listen, there's plenty of good foot people out there, okay? Um, but the boot by the way, boot I've licking boot licking and foot fetish is very different, just so you're just so you know. But with regard to this, exactly like I said earlier, um, the 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 public representative that is supposedly suppo that is that is claiming to be a uh, progressive is asking for something. They are asking in a particular direction. I want your money. I want your volunteer. I want your time. I want your attention. 
they are uh, asking from the masses. And if they don't respect those masses or if they are lying to those masses, um, they're failing in their role. That's their failure. You can't blame people for going, hey, that's fucked up. Maybe you aren't the right person to be leading this. Maybe you're not as effective as you say that you are, which is, by the way, my opinion. So I don't think it's a, I think that your framing of this like weird cancel culture, oh, by dragging this person, this is a person who already has influence and who's using it in a very stupid, foolish and embarrassing way. I think that people are within their rights to hold somebody in a position of power to task, especially when that person wants it. To, you want to you want to get mad at the at the random people going, hey, why the fuck would you say that insane shit? When instead you should be mad at the person who said that insane insane shit and alienated the audience that they're pitching to. Talk about a failure. If I was um, uh, if if I was a if I was a think about it. Let's change the entire context for a second. If I was a uh, Christian a Christian preacher, right? <laughs> and I was and I was I was saying you know, we're doing this for God. And it was really super important to motivate those people. Um, and it was revealed that I actually behind the scenes was like, uh, you know, God's stupid and all of this shit like that. Um, and I was being careless and, and posting this all over the place. You would be mad at the representative who's trying to motivate those people for losing their position of power, for failing to motivate those people by completely failing to understand who they're talking about. So I don't think that that argument holds at all. In fact, I think it's, it's completely flipped the other way. A person who's in a position of power, who wants to, who purports to care about where this country is going, um, needs to be responsible and needs to be very careful and also needs to recognize when you, when, when you piss off everybody who you're trying to get something from, you either say, oh, fuck these people. I don't want what you have to offer anyway. Or you go, oh shit. Those are the people I'm trying to activate and I just deactivated them. That's like, you're, you're doing apologia for a bad leader. It's like, you know, I don't hey, know, maybe, a, a, maybe, a king, maybe a king charges all of his cavalry into a swamp and they all die. And so the, the, so when the, when the time for war comes, no more people will bring their horses because they're like, last time you got all our horsemen killed. Yeah, of course, of course, that's rational. Those people are being rational in not trusting that leader. Maybe I'm fucked up, and maybe you can just say, Queen of the Transvads, like, I don't think anything that was said is, it, this is my personal views, not the views of anyone else there, because I know people, I know she's apologized and she does feel bad, mm -hmm. is as bad or warranted or actually says in any way that Brianna does not care for or do everything they have publicly said they care for and advocate for, because okay. there's a lot of info in that chat, also not leaked, and I can very definitively say i have absolutely no and i don't want to speak for someone else and i'm sorry if i get i make friends mad here if i say anything i have no info that suggests in any way that anything was said was disingenuous i'm like I uh, okay but but okay more but this is where that. i want i want to challenge you for a second to step out of your yourself and your urge to defend yeah. your friends okay because um that doesn't fly to anybody nobody cares and i don't mean that to be mean but um you have a on the on the main again on the main i don't want to rehash the whole drama but on the main account of a person who is a part of a very progressive a heavily branded progressive org um saying oh uh, yeah, not only saying, oh yeah, I only did that to avoid the headache. I only said I support non-binary people to avoid the headache. And then also directly unequivocally agreeing with someone saying that non-binary people are hijacking the trans movement. Um, sorry, but that is going to break trust. That's going to damage trust. That's obviously going to damage trust, especially with, like I said, the they, them army are the main people. These people, the, the people who are fine, who are the, the transgender, they're the people so, actually, they're your fucking, they're your fucking foot soldiers right now. Okay, so you're just gonna infuriate you in your chat. So my point before about the average Joe and the person voting, don't wanna bring them up, sorry, I don't wanna share any opinions I know they've said or chats we've had, but public figures with large audiences like Destiny, Shoe on Head, sure. and mm -hmm. like, Counterpoints. Yeah, I'm using spice examples. Counterpoints. I know I all. Listen, let's uh, let's be honest here. Counterpoints is not a big 
<laughs> not a big streamer, but okay. He has one of the largest 40k Warhammer followings, and that's a lot of potential people. So okay. that's technically someone with an influence, and people are not falling for yeah. that. So okay, all right. And he's a cool dude. Anyway, so I the had point an interesting is, conversation with him about anarchism and nationalism a couple years ago. It was actually pretty good. He's a very interesting dude. Don't want to say, but sure. the point is that I know all those three people as much as people on your side, and I hate using that term. I got to say they don't support this, and they don't support trans people. Oh, they're transphobic. I know that basically, and I don't want to say for them, pretty much all of them would say like, oh yeah, I have absolutely no issue with transsexuals or trans people, and honestly, most non-binary people, but I think gender abolition and um, talking tree genders are dumb. Like, okay. that's their view. So, they don't care more than that. They just um, think this shit's dumb. Okay, so how do I talk about this? Uh, there's a couple of ways to approach this. So, um, those people don't fucking matter. Um, the some some of the not all of them i shouldn't say but uh con counterpoints audience counterpoints makes content with lauren southern they're never going to vote democrat none of them not one of them okay his audience can say all they want when they're talking to you in person that they that they oh we don't care about the true transsexuals like you uh they will vote in a guy who will throw you in a gas chamber and you have to realize that even if you personally like that that his politics ends with you dead Okay, that's just how it is. I, I, I know that people are going to get super triggered and they're going to write me angry emails, but that's just a fact. C counterpoints and his, and the I people that he votes for. Do you want me dead, sad face? I mean, what's that? I really want to message him. Do you want me dead, sad Oh, face? he'll say no. He'll say no. And then he'll vote for somebody who will kill you. That's what they do. Okay. Now, right. um, another, okay. maybe, uh, now maybe, that's for that community, maybe, okay? Maybe, but that's I'm for that community, weird. all right? For maybe other communities. Sad, Wait, person. I would on. rather talk well. to those people and hopefully convince more people to be okay voting for something that supports my interests. Okay. Um, uh, and you can call me utopian with that argument, but that's the argument I'm making. Um, well, I mean, that's fine. And, and I understand the desire to uh, try and convince people away from certain positions, but... You have to be rational about that, and the 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 rational the rational position. By the way, um, I have talked with and had very deep conversations with plenty of right wingers in my personal life. I have convinced people away from right wing ideas. It's not easy. Okay, if you want to be rational about it, you have to acknowledge that uh, it, it's not just you don't just snap your fingers. It's a very hard process to get people out of deeply ingrained abilities or d deeply ingrained beliefs. Okay, yeah. um, but that's fine. And that's fine if you want to do that. You just have to be rational about it. You don't just um, you don't just look the other way when they uh, do horrible shit and then hope for the best. That's never going to happen. You're never going to convince them that way. Secondly, to the other people that you mentioned. Um, you mentioned a couple of different people's audiences, and all of these audiences have a different calculation, but it's very interesting because- I was trying to get people who don't like each other to make it more broad. Sure, sure. But let's talk about Vosh, for example, um, who's huge, and his following is super, super active. And Am I still banned on his Discord? I don't know. Oh. No, I'm not. Know. Nice. Um, but but his following is super super active. Like they are really jazzed about this progressive. Call me bad at Dark Souls. It was rude. No, I'm kidding. Um, but uh, Vosh and his audience uh, and Brianna Wu's general audience is full of trans and non-binary people who really care about the subjects at hand. So hey. while you while you were saying there, oh well, you know some of these people like Connor's audience don't care about it. Well, that's great progressive victory connor's audience will never have an overlap with progressive victory it will never happen it's just not I they disagree. don't even care that that's delusional they're right he's a right winger <laughs> he's an open so, right winger they're not going to go work with progressive victory now some of destiny's audience might vosh's audience definitely will in fact vosh's audience is the most likely and that audience it, is super sorry, full sorry. of, of non-binary people of destiny's audience yeah, some. Destiny literally organized the largest streamer forward, like, canvassing thing anywhere on the internet ever seen, and he's currently working with Progressive Victory. That's I'm also very nice. giving Vosh That's a support nice. there because I know he's doing a lot of good stuff, and it's nice to see Vosh actually putting his money where his mouth is and supporting those causes more yeah. and actually trying to get people I, out. I understand. Is... I hear the I hear the statement about the first, uh, the first streamer, the biggest and first streamer supported left foot sack race door knocking operation. Uh, you know, Guinness Book world record for most toenails 
collected while knocking doors. Now, I, I, I'm joking a little bit. I do think that it's great, and I, I think that he knocked a lot of doors, and that's awesome. Um, but you also have to keep it in scope. Um, and when it comes to uh, uh, Destiny's audience is big, and Destiny's audience is polarized. Uh, there is mm -hmm. some of his Good. audience, some, well, yes and no, but sure. Uh, Des some of Destiny's audience will get involved. A lot of Vosh's audience will get involved in the organization that Vosh has been stumping for the last year, and they have, and I know a lot who are. Um, hell, I even worked with it to some degree, which is kind of wild because I don't usually do that kind of thing. That's not, I mean, not that I'm against it, but I don't usually do uh, like a lot of, like, I'm not really into the door knocking thing, but I'm not against it either. I, I participated with Progressive Victory, getting people to go do phone banking and door knocking. Not that much, but I did something. Um, I'm just saying that uh, all of this was like a big, uh, a, a big side, uh, a sort of a big tangent from the point that you had said was that, oh well, you know, some members of Connor Point's audience and some of Destiny's audience aren't going to care, but Progressive Victory is not pitching at Connor Point's audience. They're pitching at some of Destiny's audience and basically all of Vosh's audience and basically all of Brianna Wu's audience which is full of non-binary people and people who, are, who have non-binary yeah, friends and who care about those issues. So the, a person who wants to lead that coalition has to respect that coalition. And if not, that coalition is not going to trust that person. This is why I told you, you have to step out of yourself and your desire to defend people. Like, yeah, but here's the know, issue. I don't need to convince your Vosh's followers at all to support trans people. Like, I don't need um, to convince any of them. Uh, they do. Yeah, but you do have to convince them to do something about it. That's what we we've all talked about. That with this, well, yeah, you, you, we, you've acknowledged, and we can all we can just look at the stats. The biggest problem is motivation. It's not um if if everybody voted, there would never even there wouldn't even be a Republican Party. But the oh, yeah, problem is, is, is that people don't, and that means even people in in our audiences, in my audience, in Vosh's audience, these politically active audiences need to be activated and convinced. And especially for a, for a fairly new and fresh organization like uh, like Progressive Victory, if you have somebody making a fucking goddamn fool of themselves in a way that directly um, uh, uh, seeds dist justified distrust and anger in an audience that you're trying to activate, you are not going to get what you want. You are not going to activate those people, and you're going to end up with your fucking hands in your pockets. It's that simple. But what? What? policies or anything have they actually done that makes you distrust they want to move and push for that progressive goal which is what for some reason you now think they're doing wait well wait hold on a second I, i'm sorry can you say can you ask that again sorry, i probably phrased that completely wrong so um what have they publicly said they fight against or they are not supporting though wait that's not it's not a i mean we, we that's the core problem is that the one of the main people that we were talking about right now ex yeah. in this particular issue we've gotten onto yeah. is talking about specifically the Brianna Wu thing. Somebody who is a mm -hmm. vocal part of the leadership of that and is organizing this has now said, oh, well, what I say publicly, I don't actually agree with. Um, and uh, that's actually what, a pretty major thing because if you're, I wait, 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 because, because trust is insanely important in politics. Insanely, True, I agree with that. insanely what important. What they say privately that shows they can't be trusted oh, on these saying, issues. Oh, uh, saying that I believe that saying I believe that trans that uh, that pronouns have gone too far. That the trans movement is being hijacked by NBs uh, who want to use it to their own cynical end. That makes all of the people who are pro NB, not just non-binary people themselves, but all of their allies, go. Well, fuck this. Then I'm not giving my money to an organization that, right, that where the leader where the leader. So I don't think. You, sorry, you don't think most transsexuals feel that non-binary is a slightly overwhelming and consuming? No, I don't. I really don't. And I and I and this is another moment where I just have no, to say, I didn't even you say and your I you and your circle, you and your circle need to touch grass because no, I do not believe that, and I don't believe that you could find any evidence to support that idea. Well, then, like, what are we doing then? Because at the end of the day, all I want to do is butt heads with far right people, conservatives, and people who hate trans. Then do people that. And them. Then then do That's that. That's what I'm doing. Then, no, no then do that and realize wake up for a moment and and this again i'm going to try i'm going to go back to where we were earlier from from the mom role person to the mom role person you got to wake up and and 
uh, and pull your head out of the uh, the whatever your depressed, uh, blanchard, whatever the thing that you call yourself. You have to pull your head out of that for a minute because it's destructive. You are you are it is it is obscuring your ability to actually recognize your own allies. That you're you're getting mad at like an imaginary affected uh, you know they fab person in your head. Um, no, when in reality, no, in, in, when in reality, in, in reality, when in reality, no, no, when in reality, all of the NB people, like myself and my audience, are fucking fighting so fucking hard every single day, and you're allowing a a imaginary enemy or or a caricature, uh, uh, to not just and again, I'm talking to you now because you were the mom of the group and the founder of the group, but um. But it's now you, the 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 result of your actions, a sort of domino fall, has has now actually led to a position where your group enabled a huge embarrassment for a group that you supposedly uh, want to succeed. If you want to fight right wingers, you should fight right wingers. You should start loving your your allies a little bit. I'm not saying you have to personally hug every single non-binary person, but this like weird fixation on the idea that like your resentment towards non-binary people for genuinely imagined uh, uh, problems is not is, imagined though. It is. I'm sorry. It is. There is no conspiracy. There is none of this shit. You haven't even like in this conversation. At every juncture, you've admitted that you were basically operating off of a caricature of my beliefs. You were you were reacting to caricatures, and not only that, but you're letting your literally not even reacted to any of your beliefs though in this conversation. That's not anything we. So the problem is that we can go and into you that. You can't tell me. You can't tell me that I haven't or there isn't an experience of many people, especially transsexual people, on public platforms having not just what they think and believed warped by the opinions of a large amount of gender abolitionists and non-binary peoples towards what most cis people think of them and also then having those people disregard and undermine their lived experiences and their thing opinions and thoughts around their mental health that all is very very vague and i don't know exactly what you're talking about but like and i don't know um like I don't know what you're talking about, and if you have a specific example or at least or something like it, maybe we can talk about that. But I I don't know. Like again, it kind of feels like I like a touch grass moment because here feels here's, like a, here's the thing. Wait wait, wait here's the thing. Hold on hold on wait wait, wait 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 wait. Twitter is insane. Okay. Yeah. It's horrible maybe, for it's horrible for everyone. Everyone, especially right now, by the way, that the website has been completely uh, it, since since. So in the last like eight months, it's been bought by a uh, moronic freak who has completely ruined the barely fun the previously barely functional algorithm to allow uh, to make it so that you have to like see the posts of idiots who've paid for a blue check. Some like 30 follower Andy who uh, who's like the brightest thought that they've ever thought was to like use toenail clippers correctly. And now you have to see their opinion at all times, regardless of who you follow. Like that is horrible. It's the worst website ever. You're obviously going to have a miserable time on it. I tell my followers to get the fuck off that stupid website constantly because it makes you miserable. But I don't know what you're like when you say this shit about like, oh, you know, the non-binaries are, are they're, they're, they're making me feel bad and all the show. I don't know what you're talking about. And I, just, and I don't know, even know how to start with this. If like you literally just think it's a go outside and touch grass moment when I, okay. So maybe this is just the different worlds we live in, but I just feel like these are incredibly, incredibly straightforward statements that every single reasonable person would not disagree with. And just let, let me give a finish on okay. one that there are people who use the term transsexual, outdated or not, who feel the sense that they are a binary medical trans person who okay. have had their experiences in some way either diminished or their form of dysphoria and the issues they live in their life insulted or made to feel insignificant oh, by God. specifically gender abolitionists okay. online or in social platforms. Two, hang on, wait, 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 let me address you them one by one. So much. Let me, let me, okay, fine. But we both talked a lot. I mean, I know that I tend that, to talk a lot, but 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 also you came on my show to talk to me so i mean well then that's what, it's your show so I'm but speak, with that but, first yeah. one okay that's a very again it's very broad like 
I don't know what offends you or makes you feel minim minimized or whatever. I've seen people like Blair White claim that like non-binary people just minding their own fucking business is minimizing to her experience. Blair White has an entire channel churning content out like that where any anything that a non-binary person does, she takes offense with because it makes her look bad. And that I cannot, okay, I just, that's insanity. Well, so like, I don't how want to can speak I... on behalf of my friends, but I genuinely yeah. would say not a single person I relate to or that your chat or anyone considers a trans med or anyone I consider friendly is a fan of or supports the opinions of Blair White. You're not going to find defense for her here. So I'm that, not that sure. wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, I wasn't saying that your, your chat would defend Blair White. What I'm saying is, is that people my can, chat. <laughs> or whatever you're, yeah, yeah I know. It's chat. Just, that sounds but, funny. but like, sounds funny. but like, but, but, um, uh, what I'm trying to say is that like, um, people weaponize uh can weaponize or can can draw the boundaries of offense so large or that that like there's no way to even know that you're engaging with it like um for example if uh and i'm not going to i'm not going to name names but let's say that there's uh there's somebody who uh who sees for example my partner doe use it its pronouns and never bothers to even ask why doe would do that um, but just says, this makes me look bad. Now, all of a sudden, Doe's existence, regardless of the reasoning or thoughts or anything like that, it has somehow become an affront to this other person. And I'm supposed to feel bad that that person is so mucked up in their own head that they're threatened by the existence of someone that doesn't match them. This is the problem I have with this um, this like claim of like, oh, the, the transsexuals have been uh, minimalized or whatever like I don't know I don't I don't know anything like that and and again I have a huge amount of trans of like trans non-binary all over the gender spectrum friends in the real world I live in fucking Seattle and I'm fairly well connected in this area that was not a real place don't be silly oh it is uh no but it's a it's a magical place that's for sure but um uh but but people don't nobody's like this I don't know anybody who's like that. In fact, everybody I know is like mother, they spend, spend all their time supporting one another and trying to find a way to make sure everybody has their hormones and shit. Like, I don't know anybody who does any of this fucking transsexual shit. Maybe you find some weirdo on on uh, Twitter who's like, oh, the term transsexual is bad or whatever, but I don't know anybody like that. I don't know anybody who actually does that. And I can't help but feel like it's, uh, again, that it's a like, you're, you're, you're letting a, I don't know. You're letting a small portion, or maybe even a caricature of a sm of a small portion, guide your politics in a way that leads you to deranged conclusions. I just like it's just such a weird thing because it feels like we're talking past each other, and also both talking about straw men that seem to exist in our own lives that cannot be because that's like i don't know how because i know so many people who would literally just blanketly defend that and yeah look i i'm not a fan of it programs but i'll use them if i'm trying to i'll use them because someone asks like even though i'm not a fan i think it's kind of stupid and it does look socially bad but i will use them for someone if they ask because i don't gotta go around mispronouncing someone well, problem there is we keep coming back to is it's the public opinion and the public discourse that kind of becomes infuriating being in this position because you feel like you can't have your own opinion on anything. You're attacked for this that you're said, and then you're just told you're crazy and imagine it. When I literally no. have, we have large public figures like Philosophy Tube tweeting out that gender dysphoria isn't real. Um. Oh, I covered that. I mean, that's not exactly uh, a, a that's not exactly a perfect uh, a characterization of the position and. Uh, I did a whole video no. on that. Why, if people actually tried to engage with the argument in uh, good faith, the wording wasn't perfect, but um, that the the argument actually completely makes sense and doesn't invalidate fucking anybody. People are mostly mad about this like imagined optics thing, which is it's imaginary. It is. It is. I, I hate to say it, but like. But you're also you're coming back to almost the utopian thing I said of yeah, in a perfect huh? way, everyone's needs and policies would be perfectly covered. But we live in a world where we need to talk to fucking dumb Joe, okay. I don't know, Norman, who lives in South Carolina, who decided yeah, but to you randomly don't, but, vote okay. for Republicans because he thought Trump was but, funny. But and you it, don't win. You don't win against those people 
by being cowardly. You don't win I'm by trying to, wait, hold on, wait, 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 listen, listen. You don't win by taking a position going, ooh, what are they gonna think? Ooh, what is this? No, you win by being strong in your opinion and convincing them of it. And you don't do that by like constantly being like, oh, this, oh man, what if I, uh, the it's, it's people, oh, the furry that's that's just happy to support their rights is, oh, they're bad for us, we need to silence them. You're, it, it's an inversion. It's like um, by obsessing over like needing to, to quiet the parts that you feel are like bad or whatever, um, you b become weaker. If you just said, no, actually, the, 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 the furry kid making a trans pride thing is super based. Why the fuck are you, uh, why the fuck are you conservatives obsessed with like a college kid and just making some art? You know what? Art? In a perfect world. It's not perfect about a perfect world. world. No, These people, up, wait. Okay. <laughs> no, you, just let me say this point. You, you are definitely talking in the majority of the conversation. In a perfect world, I would agree with that and I'd love to support that. The problem is, we're talking about a less than 1% of the population and we're talking about a 1% that's getting in worse and worse positions. So you have to talk to the cis. You have to talk to the right wing. You have to convince the the Republican racist who thinks this is all a bit silly that these rights matter. And maybe we just can never see eye to eye because to me, you feel like a utopian gender abolitionist, anti-status anarchist about this. Mm. And I want to try and do my politics with the people I have to fight with. Mm, and okay, you know okay. what? We can both want the same goal, but it feels like we have just completely different means. And you know what? I can even say, and I'll happily say, I come across as the bootlooking, cis line towing coward, and you want trans people to be as loud and public and proud as they can be. No, I don't I think that's an effective have, strategy. I want us to have confidence in what we are and in when we're right, we should be confident when we're right. It is right that you should be able to use your pronouns, that you should be able to have access to healthcare. That is correct. We do not need to be, we do not need to be weak in that position. We can say that with strength and with solidarity. If we say it together, we win and we will win and we'll convince them too because you don't convince people by uh, rolling over. That doesn't work. They take advantage of you. They stab you in the belly while your belly's up. And I was gonna use an example because um, uh, 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 when you said about the, the it it's thing, um, to the majority of people that you're talking about, you are an it it's. You may as well be. Um, they they see she, her, these people, uh, they are have been trained to engage with uh, with pronouns in bio and just to thought terminating right. make fun I, I of never, pronouns and bio. I never use my pronouns ever. What? I intentionally never state pronouns generally, so that's Isn't why. that, but, but okay, okay. If you have a personal preference for that, that's fine. But if you're doing it to try and appease those people, you've already lost. If, if well, then I've lost. So it's Doomer, it's just Doomer in the end. So I, then you can understand why I would, why of course I'm gonna argue with the opposite of your give up and die position. Of course I'm going to say, no, but let's I be strong I together. There is nothing not wrong with being they, them. There is nothing wrong with being it, it's. There is nothing wrong with being she, her. There is nothing wrong with being bun, bun, self. None of these people have done anything wrong. They're good people. They have a right to, pr 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 to present as they want to. And so do you. Let's stand together and fucking win. And when you say you got to win over these people, it's true to some degree. Well, it's only partially true. You don't actually have to win over all of these people. You don't have to win over every fucking bum, hick, weird, freak, racist. You don't actually have to do that. A lot of them can just go in the dustbin of history and get washed washed away by people with more uh, more of their thinking caps on, uh, uh, making the world a better place. You don't have to win every single one. You can win the ones who are actually able to think. If you spend all your time trying to convince somebody who um, is convinced that every gay person is a groomer, um, that, that like, if you're spending all your energy on that, you're, you're wasting your own time. And, uh, especially if it comes at the cost of you sacrificing, um, everything else or sacrificing your ability to, to like get along with people or your ability to like, uh, to like see non-binary people as like anything other than like this, like, I don't know, conspiratorial fear group that you're kind of like afraid of as they're gonna take over shit, but they're not. There's just like, I don't know. I feel like we've kind of gone to a lot of different places, but at the same time, it's like, like you don't have to win over every single piece of shit bigot. You don't. We outnumber them. 
not just not just not trans people, but the people who support trans people. And the the more confident and strong that trans people are in our rights to be liberated and our right to to stand together, um, we're going to be stronger. We're going to com communicate a stronger message which appeals to people, especially in America. America's the home of the free. You're telling me that a freedom argument uh, from people who want to live the way they want to won't work? Of course it works. And then how do you tell them the government needs to pay for the medicine? Um, it, it depends on where you are. If you tell them, you want to tell them the government pay, pays for the medicine, here's an easy way. Just like you need, when you go to the hospital because you shot yourself in the foot or you cut your, your finger off in the woodcutter, uh, I got to go to the hospital when I'm having a mental health crisis, or I got to go to the hospital when I have a dis a a a uh, issue where where uh, my body isn't working the way I want it to. When you go to the hospital because you've been having migraines for a week, that you have the right to do that, just like I got the right to go to the hospital and uh, take care of uh, take care of this uh, gynecomastia that's driving me crazy. Uh, if you if you have the right to go to the hospital to uh, get that tu that benign tumor that makes you look uh, in a way that you don't like taking care of but isn't necessarily dangerous to your health, I have the right to uh, go to the hospital and get uh, the benign tumors on my chest taken off so that my body looks the way that I want it to. Fucking good old American freedom. Freedom. I think yeah. It just comes down to this issue we keep bumping heads in here as from the end goal of what we all want people in general not even just specifically this i think we'd all agree we want a better world the problem is i just think we utterly conflict on what we think the right movement and political advocacy for how we move forward with that is well and you know what you know what and i will give you props your position does come across as the prouder and braver one and i'm Thank and you. you know what i'm happy to be the bootlicker if no, i know don't be happy work. Listen, if you want to be, if you, listen, 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 if you want to be a bootlicker, be a bootlicker to somebody who fucking loves you. OK, be a bootlicker to somebody who uh, really wants you to have a good time licking that boot. OK, don't lick the boot of somebody who wants you dead. OK, I'm serious. I'm being serious here. If you really want to lick the boot, find yourself a fucking a they them general who will fucking choke you and call you whatever you want. OK, find that. Don't go looking for the boot from the person who actually wants to crush your throat. They'll kill you. They don't, though. That's the problem. That's what I mean. I doesn't. They do want feel. to. Okay, listen. I'm sorry. I just I feel but... like leftists have this completely warped view on. Have just you? Have you ever and no, right -wing no, 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 no. I'm not talking about the centrists. I'm talking about the people um, who are who are uh, who are in the Trump cult and who are stockpiling arms I'm and not who trying do. Trying to convince the Trumpers. Okay, but you're you're all over the place now because you 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 I'm say. Not. You've been all over the place as to who we're trying to convince. If we're talking about fucking centrists, centrists, your your everyday fucking griller. You want to know what your griller uh, 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 fucking um, re responds to? A good vibe. That's what a, that's what your centrist grill pillars respond to is a good vibe. If they come over to my stream and they see me going. My fucking non-binary bros, my non-binary thems, my non-binary whatever. We're fucking hanging out. We're having a good time. We're playing video games. You don't hate my people. Don't hate my people. That's the vibe they're going to respond to. Not this, um, not this depressed. You can't tell me I'm insane. Crap. For me, the statement I'm going to say, okay. if I went and polled a bunch of just, I don't know, 50 year olds getting coffee in a cafe, uh -huh. what makes them more likely to support the government funding medical care for trans people? A gay furry orgy, or just this transsexual woman trying to live her fucking life and go by the day to day. Uh, the truth I, is, I, just... <laughs> I hate to tell you this, but <laughs> there's not that much of a difference for people who are anti-trans. And if you don't believe you're me, you're wrong though. No, no, you're I no, though. I'm not. I'm not wrong. And I and I'll tell you this: if you just, don't, that's believe... what I mean. It no, no, no. Like listen, listen. If you don't believe me, then my ch my homework for you is go spend some time just looking just as a uh, as an observer not too long because it will hurt your mental health but go go t spend some time looking at what they say about fucking Dylan Mulvaney okay Dylan Mulvaney I is the most fucking blando uh, safe trans person you can possibly imagine and they the, the they are insane about her okay they're fucking deranged 
They say that she's a groomer pedophile. They, they fucking flipped out for two months straight because she got her face on a fucking novelty beer can. I'm not kidding you. In there, in a lot of the, in these people, the people you're talking about, not the centrists, the centrists don't fucking give a shit. The right wing people, the people that you keep in, you kind of invoke at different times, but the right wing people, they're, they are in a cult that sees you are, you are a furry to them in their mind. You will never convince them to, to support your worldview. They're, they're safe. The, 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 the candidates are Donald Trump, who just did a speech earlier this year, promising that he will stop gender ideology from mutilating kids and adults, that he'll ban, uh, uh, he'll ban gender affirming care. And then you have Ron DeSantis who did the same exact thing. And then you have Vivek Ramswamy who every single speech talks about how he needs to end access uh, to gender ideology. All of them, all of the people that your right wing people are gonna vote for, all have the same end, which is they want you to die alongside the furry. They see you as the same. And it's, it's unfortunate, but it's true. The centrists, they respond to strength uh, of, of, of togetherness. They respond to friendship. They respond to respect. Uh, a centrist looks into, into a group chat like mine and sees people supporting each other and goes, damn, it seems like these, these fucking people all love each other. Like they're a band of people sticking together. Of course they respond to that well. Why do you think fucking Vosh has been so successful? Man's grown like crazy and brought in tons of, uh, of, of, uh, of centristy types because that's the vibe he cultivates. He, he cultivates a vibe of people who back each other up where it's cool to be whatever you are. And a lot of people feel, get into those environments and then they realize, oh, maybe I'm, maybe I'm not, you know, as cis as I thought. Maybe I'm a little different too. And that's cool and beautiful. And they're supported in that, you know? I just, it's, I, and it, this annoys me because it does sound defeatist. I just don't think you're correct like mm. i don't know how else to put it like that way i just every interaction and all of my lived experiences i want you to be right i genuinely do i just don't think you are yeah well that's the problem and it feels depressing because like in a real way and, and we both do agree feel... we do kind of go ahead sorry but the problem is that yeah i just don't think that helps like when I have random strangers ask if I'm of like random shit they see on TikTok about non-binary and gender abolitional people, and I have to deal with that in my day-to-day -day life. Okay. So, okay. So wait, I want to engage with this like really one-on-one -on -one. and maybe, I don't know, maybe we can make some progress on this. So give me such an example and I'll see if I can respond to it and maybe we can make some progress. So your friend comes to you and says, what about a non-binary person? so it's not even that it's i don't know what the exact it's the opinion that g gets garnered by most people that being trans is more and more just a choice okay so and not um, something it's it removes the seriousness of it well, do you not but i don't, do don't get it, that vibe no i don't get that vibe at all um, I mean, I understand people, I, I can understand people like using that in a bad way, like being like, that's just, you're, you're just choosing that. But I don't devalue choice to the same degree that you and the right do. Um, I think choice is important, especially here in America, the land of the free choice is what our entire country is built on your ability to choose how you live is our fundamental right all the way to the fucking constitution, baby. Um, but, uh, but straight up though, I just, I don't think that, um, I, I don't think that like, that like somebody says, oh, well, it's just a choice. I'm like, yeah, well, so is, uh, uh so is the way, so is a million things. Lots of things are, are choices. I mean, I don't agree that it's a, a choice like, uh, like, uh, you know, some things, I mean, there are people who make the argument that, uh, you know, um, that being, becoming homeless is a choice because you didn't work so hard. And that's just stupid. I would just call them stupid. I would say that's fucking dumb. You know, that's not how it works. And if somebody said, oh, well, you know, uh, isn't it just a choice? You could go, yeah, the, 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 apparently it's just a choice to like how you want, how you're being true to yourself is just a choice. Yeah, I guess it is. It's a choice between lying to yourself and everybody else, which is miserable and a choice to live honestly. 
there's ways to deal with that. Like you just got to stop. You have to, you have to kind of kill the part of you that instinctively cringes because of like the injected transphobia. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't, I, I think that the choice thing is like silly. Um, and I understand like why there's like this desire to say, oh no, it's like, it's more important than a choice. But um, there are all kinds of choices in life. People choose to have children. People choose to do all like that. That's just a, it's just a bad framing and you have to be strong and reject the framing and say, what are you fucking talking about? It's this person is being honest with themselves. They're being true with who they are. And uh, what's your problem with that? Why do you have a problem with somebody being honest with who they are? Don't you uh, do shit that's not perfectly 100% whatever man or woman all the time? You know, I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know, maybe you like uh, strawberry ice cream and it's pink and the manly flavor would be to eat coffee ice cream or something. I don't know. But I'm not asking the government to financially support my purchasing of strawberry ice cream. That's the difference. Well, but what the example you've pivoted to, to a different a complete different example now you were talking about what a friend pivot? coming you were you were you were talking about a friend coming to you and saying look at this cringe okay, non-binary well, let's, 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 let's focus down on that one um i okay i work i'm not, not going to actually say where i work why do i do that yeah, um, but i fine. know a lot of people very involved in politics okay in regards to where i work sure a lot of political people civil servants politicians etc etc and if the narrative I'm seeing become more and more common about it all being a choice, it's much more individual decisions, individual liberties. It's not a medical condition. It's just some people are happier this way. Some people prefer that, which like we've both agreed is uh -huh. a beautiful end goal to get to. If the narrative for the average 40 year old civil servant, I'm just I'm using 40 and you choose a different age. I'm just randomly trying to pick middle aged people is that it's becoming more and more less of a serious thing because they had never even heard about this four years ago they just thought fucking almost said the t-slayer were just people who lived there were just freaks on the internet and nothing else and they find uh -huh. out oh, it's become it. they find out no it's just a thing that the kids are doing and it's all a fad on tiktok and it's not oh well i mean it then, you, then you just it, engage when, when very I... simply by saying it's not it, this isn't like a fad thing um that's ridiculous uh, this is people existing how they want to exist and being honest with their existence. What's your problem with that? And then if they respond by going, well, you know, uh, you know, it's kind of, uh, it, it's kind of just a choice or whatever. And you go, no, nah, it's not that simple. If you, if you don't let people live how they want to live, it can be really painful. And in fact, we've studied this, um, you know, trans people who are, aren't allowed to, to live the way they want to uh, suffer. And then you say, hey, bro, let me give you an example of this. L what if what if tomorrow you woke up and you had fucking huge tits and all your friends were uh, looking I at wish. you weird? <laughs> yeah, I know, but they're not gonna feel that way, right? If it's a 40 year old guy at a coffee shop, you said you had big, you know, you develop tits tomorrow. Wouldn't you go to the doctor and say, hey, can I get this taken care of? And they might joke and go, <laughs> I wish I had a rack. And then you go, oh, maybe you're trans. And then they go, ah, ha, ha, and they laugh it off. But you go, no, seriously, wouldn't you go to the doctor and ask them to help you with that? And they will go, yeah, sure. And you go, well, that's just what trans people are doing. And then they go, oh, well, I never thought about it that way. And then just, maybe next time before they say something stupid and cringe, they just go, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should be a little more thoughtful. A lot of people parrot what they hear. And uh, right-wing media in Australia and the United States, and Australia's got right-wing media pretty bad, is pumping out deranged propaganda, thought terminating cliches. And you, are, it's, if, you, if you care about, you've said repeatedly in this conversation, you care about reaching those people, well, you gotta, you gotta engage with that struggle and you gotta come up with the arguments that don't just uh, let, like, the position you've been taking is, is uh, I gotta find a way to make sure that this person kills me and, you know, kills me in the, you know, in the, in the slowest and, and least uh, painful or whatever way. And instead it's gotta be, no, if I wanna challenge this, I gotta recognize, okay, these people are being fed narratives and I have to deny them with confidence. And people will go like, you know, it's crazy. Um, have you, I don't know, maybe you've never had this experience, but have you ever like hung out um, in like a, like a, I don't know if you went to college or, but like if, uh, if you ever, yeah. Um, yeah, if you went to college, you ever hung out in like a dorm and then somebody, and you're hanging out with like a big group of people, really diverse group of people, and then someone says something offensive. And then 
Um, and then somebody like corrects them basically, not like horribly, but just like, hey, that's not cool, man. And yeah. then they never ever do it again. That's the same thing. A lot of the a lot of the people that you're talking about, the like grillers who are like mildly right wing because they watch Fox News or whatever or the equivalent is over there, um, they say these things because they've heard them, and then if they get challenged on them, they never say them again. Um, and uh, and it's actually fairly easy to just sort of like grab that and and grab it like you're a like a, a catcher in a baseball game and grab it and go no that's not really how it is and you know saying it like that is kind of rude you know and, and and hurtful why would you want to be hurtful you know and a lot of people Don't will respond think to that we can micromanage the overall narrative of all trans and non-binary people to like I just don't think that works. It is an overarching social narrative that is existing and further developing. And yes, it is being pushed a lot by right wing media, but it's giving more and more ammo the further we also push it to the abolitionist side. Um, it's becoming no, less and less. It actually gives them less and less ammo. People. And the reason why is because they become they sound more and more desperate and insane. Because um, when you wreck it, when you say hey, no, wait, hang on, and you, you don't think to the average liberal that the 16 year old who wants to have a mastectomy and believes they are a frog gender doesn't sound insane to them. Um, I mean, I'm sure that they would probably not understand that, but um, I, to me, they're, you in most cases, uh, they would be engaging with a, uh, a heavily straw manned version of that person. Um, and for me, I would be, I, I'm not afraid to engage with that. If somebody, if some, if I was sitting and talking to some 40 year old and they said, I mean, hell, I had this experience recently explaining my partner's it, it's pronouns uh, to my uh, uh, normie family. And they mm. were totally chill with it. I just said, hey, this is how, you know, this is, you know, don't, don't worry too much and if you, you're if you mess then. up or whatever. So what do you do Yeah, but, but that's was, all, but it was a long, pro my, it's a long process. Yeah, what okay? do you do for someone where, for, for me, and my parents, they, they say it's a fad. They think this will go away. Oh, well, I mean, sometimes you sometimes you can't win them over. Like, no, an can't, example. But the no, hold on, I'll get personal I've, for Well, I've been here. making progress, but the problem is sure. because they, all their information was informed by they lived in Britain, so fucking right. British media cycle. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, but that's just, that's that's a tragedy is what that is. And there isn't always an answer. You can't win everybody over. Um, when I came out, uh, my dad uh, forcibly outed me to my entire family. And shortly after that, um, most of my family has never spoken to me in the last mm. like 14 years. The vast majority of my family. Oh, yeah, I have basically never spoke to me family. again. There's nothing I can do it's... about that. <laughs> there is no way that I could win those people over, especially somebody like my dad, who's just a dyed in the wool bigot. And he is uh, a lost cause. Now, when it comes and to the rest sucks. of my family, yeah, but I mean, some, but I'm just saying that sometimes that's the case, and sometimes knowing the ones that can be can be talked to and the ones that can't is really key. Um, it you know, choosing your battles is very important. And uh, a couple minutes ago, we were talking about individual examples of you talking to your friends versus the broader narrative. In my opinion, we should fight very hard against a. A media, uh, a, a media entity conglomerate that is constantly pushing bad faith, um, uh, uh, bad faith narratives, and also looking for victims. Like you mentioned, a frog gender person um, who you know wants a, uh, a a double mastectomy or whatever. Um, the 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 that's one person on the entire planet. And I bet if you talk to them, they'd be a really nice person and super chill. Um, but the fact that we have a media uh, empire that is that is aiming to find victims to tur to like turn into uh, for no reason innocent people to turn them into mockeries, we shouldn't join them in that. We should re renounce them for that, and we should f fight them until they are ground into dust because that's disgusting. There are enemies, and we do have enemies. Someone who uh, an organization that aims to to turn any person who doesn't look normal to them into a pawn in their political agenda that ultimately ends in death, and it does. We're not the America and and Australia and U the UK are not like uh, uh, free of the of history. We know where 
a lot of this goes. We know where some of the most extreme activists who are pushing for this stuff, like Michael Knowles and stuff like that, we know where they want to go. They want the Hitlerian route. We've seen genocides all throughout history. These are real things. We push back against that. You fight really hard. And uh, I just yeah. don't think the way to convince most people is to push the social narrative and then just do nothing but confirm with the loudest and most extreme abolitionist and weird takes on gender i think well, but i don't do that it. if you watch my videos on them um it's actually crazy my videos where i talk about neo pronouns my videos where i talk about non-binary uh stuff um is is they're like heavily well received i get tons of new viewers on these videos and they're people who go wow literally i never thought about it that way this makes a lot of sense to me now as it turns out you go a long way by not just um like reflexively uh, uh discarding people that you feel like it's a difficult issue no sometimes tackling them head on and explaining them enlightens people and you earn a new ally sometimes yeah and then sometimes also agreeing that the 16 year old frog gender is cringe will make a centrist stop and actually think legit medical issues are important though um, I, I don't think there is a definitive so. i don't think no? so like, no i really don't i don't think that um i think that encourages them i think that encourages them to look and go um well who's associated with the frog gender people um uh, uh and then and then I don't know. I don't. I don't think a person who's looking to laugh at a frog gender person is going to be won over on uh, on a healthcare issue. I don't think that's somebody. Like I don't really? think that's how it works. Really? No, I really don't. I don't. I don't think that. Uh, and also, it's wrong. That's the worst part. It's wrong to throw the frog gender person under the bus. The frog gender person hasn't done anything wrong. You're just throwing them under the bus out of fear that your uh, that your centrist friend will judge you. And uh, I bet I have a feeling that centrist friends would respect you more if you said hey that frog gender person didn't hurt anybody sure maybe it's a little cringe but come on they're not doing anything I wrong just, they I, have I a just... right to be who they want to be just like you you're telling me wait you're telling me in the in the world where we have uh fucking people who put a uh, star wars grogu shit all over the back of their car in the world of disney adults in the world of fucking m turbo sonic mega fans uh, you're gonna you're gonna tell me that like the that anybody has the right to judge somebody who's like frog gender come on everybody's cringe it's silly everyone is cringe Don't agreed live in fear the problem is I'm, it's it, once again it, you're bringing up living in fear and i just i genuinely do not feel like it's fear in any way to feel that having medical needs both be supported by the government and the majority voting population probably has to have some ability to find what it is and more well, than just a complete that was... infinite choice because and yeah like maybe this is a absolute core disagreement and maybe this is something we can both reflect on that people who like define themselves as transsexual or your group would say transmed no i don't i don't do that i don't do that you, by you the way literally you should... called me transmed today and well you are yeah, but you like, are a transmed you've self-identified okay. as transmed and i don't yeah, i don't uh i, I don't believe yeah, but I don't believe that I don't believe those are the same thing. I know tons of I know fucking IRL transsexuals who don't who in who would look at the transmed shit and go, what the fuck is this stupid shit? Yeah, uh, transsexuals. Yeah, but there are but, but you are, are a transmed, so you can't get mad at me calling you that. Like you and lots of people in your group are. They're not. You're not just transsexuals. You're I'm also transmeds, mad. and there's a difference. I'm not mad at you calling me that. The point that is, I just feel that. There exists this schism, especially in bet of some people, especially in I, I very noticed it's very common in heterosexual binary trans people, of people who just do not feel unified, endorsed or represented from an abolition point of view, and they find a large amount of calm respect and even a better self of being, in being able to define both as a as a medical condition, their state of being. And if that's an issue that is completely unable to coexist without being labeled as a fucking like transphobic transmit, feel like we need well, to stop and reassess where the fuck we're at, that we uh, can't even have the point of defining it not be that. Um, I, I think that um, to some of those people, I think it's a them problem. It's they legitimately feel threatened 
by people who don't engage with gender in the same way that they do, uh, in the exact mm. same way that cishet people will feel threatened by the existence of gay people. You know how there's like a lot of cis guys who like are disgusted and scared of gay people for no real reason, even though they're supposed, we would call them like insecure in their sexuality or whatever. Um, I think I think that there are some uh, people who are in the group that you've described who it is a them problem that they need to just over, they need to really engage with their fear and go, oh my God, why am I being so weird about these people? And then um, the thing with regard that, to other people... things, with regard to the medical thing, no one, like nobody on the planet has ever, I don't know anybody, not e and I hang out with a lot of different people. I, maybe I've seen like a handful somewhere of like people who are like, if you ever say it's a medical condition, you're doing this. The problem that most people have is having it projected onto them. That saying that like, oh, well, uh, the only way, and, and, and I'm not gonna lie, like, there's a lot of sentiment like this. And I think if you're honest, that you'll say that even in the groups that you're running in, the people that have been, have been talked about, that this is a thing that like, there is a, it's not just, this is the way I experience it, but this is the way it has to be experienced. And I do think that that's a real thing on the medical side, that there's this idea that Some, like, I, would agree. I mean, no. oh, actually in the, in the, I can go directly to this. Like, um, I can give an example of this directly from the leaked things about oh, that we were God. talking about before. I, I, I know, but like, yeah, but right. seriously, <laughs> Like, uh, um, it's, uh, where is it here? Let me find the- oh, I'm, not, find I'm, not, I'm not signing because I'm not gonna defend it or comment on it, I'm just more, God, it's- uh, I'm trying to 40, find the- The last uh, 72 hours of my life and all the fallout of this have been kind of awful. I imagine, I imagine it's been awful. Uh, and I, I mean, I'm not trying to make it more awful. Hold on, let me see if I can find what I was, what I was thinking of, the example that I was thinking Conversation's of. Conversation's been decently pleasant, so I appreciate it. Yeah, well, you know, you know I surpr I always surprise people. Um, Oh, I, I guess I don't have this one saved, but it was a, a section where um, I think it was Brianna Wu who was saying like, uh, uh, Benny said, uh, oh, like I found out through advertisements or whatever, like it started getting me questioning. I just can't imagine that. Like, did any of you do this? And there was this incredulity towards somebody else's trans experience that was um, in addition and everything else in context seemed incredibly, uh, incredibly invalidating. And so I think it's very common in trans med circles to not just not just say like I pers I understand my transness as a medical thing, but to also go and anybody else who doesn't is actually kind of a trender. I mean, hell, the term trender is really fucking popular in these circles. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, do you see where that is is somewhat different? Uh, I don't believe that, uh, I really genuinely don't. And I think that if you hang out and talk among people in my community, there's a lot of gender abolitionists here. You're not gonna find anybody who's gonna hold it against somebody for their personal understanding of their transness being, you know, you know, fairly tied to medical things. I mean, goddamn, I, I, like, again, can, I've been on you, hormones for- Can you for not a... understand? Yeah. But, okay, so the problem is, the problem is also you're assuming that the term trans are like some people in that group and my friends some definitely are f full anti non-binary only binary trans and i push against that because that's not how i believe them. okay and there are many people who don't believe that i have multiple <laughs> here's my recent here's my token black friend i have multiple non-binary friends and sure. i've also fought against them but the point there is there's i have no issue with any of that but can you not and i I will throw the term tender, trender out as a joke sometimes, but I try to avoid ever accusing or calling someone that. Oh, it's a pretty, not it's a pretty cruel it? one. It is, and that's why I try to never directly call someone that. I've, I've definitely probably done it privately, not going to defend or say deny that, but never would I do that publicly about someone. Or try not to. The point there is, can you not see for someone who, in a way, the level of being able to define themselves and their transness as a mental illness and that almost being a comfort to right. then see someone who says you don't need any medicine i'm trans because they say they are i'm not socially transitioning in any way and that they are the exact same type of person with the same experience and they're going to use that term that you have to use because of your mental illness as the same thing like i mean um it just what you've explained there just again that sounds like an insecurity problem First of all, I've maybe, never maybe maybe oh hang on hang on I mean, yeah totally, but, but yes, but that's a you problem. That's you shouldn't project that on other people and make enemies out of people who aren't hurting you. 
you're only hurting yourself and also except, becoming except, toxic clearly with the you, trend I don't shit. Think you can say they're not you're not just hurting they're not hurting you because it's co-oping and then ex but it's not co-oping. They're not co-oping. So making something that requires government intervention and medical need that needs to be but legislated to be voted on by a cis they're majority not co is becoming they're fighting a for you. Term. They agree with you. These yes, they do. I'm sorry. Most of them don't even vote. I'm, I'm I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But you're dead wrong about that. If you if somebody cares enough to fucking talk about this shit on their public uh on their public persona, you know goddamn that they're support. They're not only going to be voting in favor of things that would help you. They're not only going to. I mean, the people that you're the caricature that you've summoned up of like a of a person who is trans but doesn't socially transition. First of all, I've never met anybody who calls themselves trans but doesn't socially transition at all. That's not, I've never encountered that. Like that's not, I've never, never once, not even a little bit. I don't even think that type of person exists. Most people I think that you're talking about are like non-binary people that, uh, that maybe don't deviate as much from their initial, uh, you know, their, their initial presentation. But that's, that's, but that's different. And also, those people, like I said, they're always voting super progressive. They are uh, they are more likely to be like to like dogpile somebody for being transphobic. Uh, not 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 somebody like you, a Republican. They're likely to go. These people are fucking disgusting. Those people are your friends. They're your allies. You just don't see them like that because of insecurity. But they are. If somebody cares enough about gender to make a TikTok where they go. You don't have to have dysphoria to be trans. We all should push for trans rights. They're fucking fighting for you. They're going to vote for people with your best interests in mind, and you can't get over their affect because you're threatened by it. But they're not voting, though. It's like, look at the numbers of voter turnouts. They're not. <laughs> they and are. The is, they are statistically are. are. There might okay, be some. Statistically... There might be some who are like, I'm uh, I'm trans and I don't believe in voting. But come on, if you're so, posting no, on the internet, on, no, come on, no, Ian, if no, you, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. sorry. That you, come on. Uh, no, 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 hold on a second. On here, so I can pull. I, on here, I can super pull rank on you, and the, the way that I can pull rank on you is that I'm a fucking full dyed in the wool ass leftist. Okay, you said it yourself. I'm more on the extreme side. I hang out with these motherfuckers. Okay, and uh, let me tell you. Um, the amount of people who actually don't vote and who don't give a shit on the on the left side of things is like really small. That that group of people is not actually that big. They're kind of, there's a handful of them that are super loud on Twitter, uh, but in the real world that's simply not true. Let these motherfuckers can't stop themselves from voting. They get super worked up about it and they call it fucking stupid and then they do it. You, you want to know what's fucking funny? <laughs> Look, I could really ruin Doe's reputation right now. Doe has voted in the last, like, <laughs> three elections. I know, right? Anti-electoralist Doe. But anyway. Good. Um, but, but yeah, but I'm just saying, but I'm not even, Doe isn't even like that, isn't even that type of anti-electoralist. Doe does not disagree with voting. Um, Hell, I'd argue not voting is transphobic, technically. You could make that up. Here, sure, so. sure, sure. But what I'm saying is, is that on a pure analysis level, like this idea that this person is not fighting for you, um, even if, uh, even let's even pretend that they don't vote. Even still, they're engaged in the, in the culture war and reaching people and pushing people to consider that position more, and a lot of those people will end up voting. A lot of people. And you don't think I'm doing that? And um, people I know are trying to do that with more extreme people that your group doesn't reach out to. Um, I'm going to be completely honest. Uh, and this is this is again where I have to call back to some of the stuff we talked about earlier. Sure. Uh, I think your people um, are siloed off, miserable. You alienate other people. You're mean. Um, a lot of the time and I'm not saying our conversation here has been great, but I don't know like I don't know how representative this is of the greater thing and the the other such things that are said I think that you um, are fixated on making non-binary people feel bad and alienating them and also just gonna say on a pure uh, fucking numbers level uh, your group chat just caused a massive fucking PR detonation and let me tell you on a uh, on t just Twitter alone, 
the uh, Brianna Wu leaks from your GC, your GC where everybody was being fucking shitty and weird about this shit and talking about non-binary conspiracies, uh, that did some major numbers. That reached very far. I have a huge okay. network of people and they all saw it and they all think it's fucking shitty and they're not going to listen to you. The la so why is the la largest most viewed repost of it Keffels trying to say that it doesn't matter as much and then I don't people think like it is, Destiny is it? retweeting I don't that. Know. And then but, uh, but like does, does that does the like single I one? Message Shu and like stuff like this and all this interacting like Shu, oh, surely God. like you can make even make the argument that most of those communities all just went you know what this is either bad or I don't care. And for most people, like literally most people who don't know much about trans stuff, saw it and just went, "Yep, girls are catty," and that was it. That was a chain of thought, and it was like, okay. "Yeah, it's definitely misogyny." This is, this is, we're getting about. back. We're 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 looping back a little bit. But and you're why missing, is it only you're, people you're, you're, like you're trying... you and Sunday trying to drag them and these people through the mud? I'm sorry. Hold on a second. Let's let's rewind here for one second. Um, I she's not. Uh, sorry, me, sorry, sorry, on, wait, she's wait, not wait, on the wait, left. Okay. Wait, she was not on the left, but neither am I. I would not consider myself second, a leftist. Hold on a second. We're getting, let's not get off on Shu. I could talk about a lot about Shu. But um, I haven't talked about this shit at all until today. And I think I had a very fair reason to talk about it, given that you motherfuckers were talking about me and my partner directly. So I think I have every single one right. comment. Additionally, don't care. You and your group, uh, your, your children uh, have uh, <laughs> been, let's just say, a little obsessive with regard to my partner, okay? Oh, let's be 100% no, 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 real. No, no. No, Some of them worse than others. There's one in this chat right now who's a fucking psychopath and really needs to yeah, be reined in. Yeah, she's my little autistic goblin. It doesn't... Yeah, but then take care of her. Because <laughs> she's... It's self-harm, and it's not healthy. She's doing but a lot anyway, better on social media. Let's, uh, let's, let's... um. With that aside, um, uh, two things. One... Uh, fucking President Sunday is on his own thing. He got the leaks, whatever. As for me, I made my statement about it today. I explained my reasons. I explained Any the reasons comments why. comments on your thoughts on the leaks? What? I, I did a whole think segment leaking... on it. I did a whole segment on it. Group chat is good? What? You think leaking group chats is good and that this deserves to be talked about publicly? Um, I think leaking a group chat um of someone uh i think leaking group chats is uh uh not good <laughs> sorry uh, like as a basic action but it has contextual correctness uh and i think in this particular case it very very blatantly revealed um that uh brianna Wu wasn't being honest and also was engaging in highly hypocritical behavior and also uh, given that I have had a lot of uh, personal uh, interaction with Brianna Wu, including a lot of uh, interpersonal conversation, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, a whole conversation, yeah, I feel like um, that's pretty, uh, it's pretty bothersome. So I think I have a right to speak on it. And I think you're kind of being a little uh, a little bit silly to say that I can't talk on it. I didn't fucking even talk about I it on social media. I didn't say you can't talk about it. Well, I, I mean, you that implied that I was doing no, something. Well, that, you you, you, you characterized as me dragging her when my segment on it was very fair and extremely measured. And I just said exactly okay. what I think is true. But does this, does this but not also, go back to what I was saying before? Okay. Of why is it most either centrist or big or reaction style content dramas and all those kind of didn't care about it and off played it and said this is fine and even made jokes about it but it's only the extreme leftists it's not see, just who the are extreme that's see that's where you're wrong uh it's not who, the who extreme it's not just the extreme left um what it's else the, the entirety of the online trans community knows about this and i'm not kidding you um again i have been online and trans and connected in trans communities online of many, many different types for a very long time, okay? Um, I have seen this being talked about uh, all the fuck over the place. I'm talking uh, basically the entire, the entire political, like barring communities that are completely disconnected from politics, the entire online trans community is aware of this occurrence and pissed off about it. A lot of them are. Now there are some who aren't. There are some sub communities who don't really care, but there are a lot who do. You have, you, as a result of your perspective, have misjudged just how far this reached. And also, um, I, I'll explain this again. I, I talked about this already and I feel like my point was strong, but I'll repeat it again. First of all, um, 
the this is the group that Brianna Wu and the Progressive Victory is allegedly trying to get active. They want to get the gays and the the progressive gays, the progressive trans people, the progressive non-binary people involved in this action of which, and, and not just those individuals, but the people who care about those individuals. And those people have been hugely negatively impacted by this. Now, whether they're, whether it will be, uh, the damage is hard to calculate, but regardless, it's been aware and those people are not reacting well to it. And it's a lot of people. Um, and on top, it's so, a lot so of people. Yes, it is a lot of people. And specifically, it's a lot of people who are in the demographic who are most li who would be most likely to get involved with progressive victory. So, that's the thing that that you keep missing. You say, "Well, you want I could say I could say you want to know who doesn't give a shit about this? <laughs> Nobody was talking about this on Russian minor YouTube." And it's like, "Yeah, obviously, because it's not relevant to them." But Progressive Victory is direct is a group that is directly trying to interface with the online trans community, the online progressive community to which these issues are important. And they're pissed off about it. And uh, only so there's that's the one thing. It's only and, a subsection of the left wing trans community. That and cares secondly, about it. and secondly, we return back to the argument about leaders. Leaders are sp supposed to lead, and you can't be mad for people rationally reacting to a leader's bad behavior. Sorry, that's just not how it goes. There is a. Uh, this is the responsibility of being a leader. The responsibility of being a public figure. Um, a number of different things. And this was all done on the main account of an executive director. You've of, brought, okay, I just want to question this because you brought up main account many times today. Would yeah. it have been a different fact if it was a private one? Oh, absol uh, absolutely. It would have been different. Okay. It still would have been, well, but, but let me explain why. It would have been different, but it would not It would have had a less, uh, a less powerful negative impact because nobody would have known who it was. It still would have been bad, and it still would have been uh, on a personal level. It would say something about, uh, you know, the people involved and their honesty, but it wouldn't have had the negative effect of um, echoing outwards uh, that that uh, 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 that that has resulted of this. The de demoralizing effect. Now, on a on a pure moral level, uh, it would have been identical. Uh, being a hypocrite is a is a is a bad thing to do morally, but on a impact level on a uh on a consequential level obviously being in a uh um a group chat like that and behaving like that on your main account is absolutely going to have a worse impact uh and like almost hilariously so um on your uh perceived professionality and your uh the the ability for people to believe in that person as a leader so yeah yeah i just don't think anyone except for microcosm of the far left trans community is going to care about this in literally 24 hours and i kind of just don't care about what the trans community thinks online hmm well that's like, interesting i mean that sounds like cope to me that sounds like mad potentially cope. i just that sounds like like super mad cope like being like oh i don't think i don't think that that the anybody but the trans community is going to care the trans community who you know was being directly pitched at and now is pissed off because the pitches that and were designed for them were fault. And also, I don't give a shit anyway. I don't care about the trans community anyway. So, okay, you're coping. Mad copium. Huff, huff, huff. Huff, huff. Yep, um, huff, huff, huff. Huff, huff, huff. Get a couple more huffs. Come on. Come on. Be better than I have that. An condition. You seem I smart. You seem really smart, honestly. I mean, you seem smart, but... but uh, In a real dumb way, it's a talent. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I'd say a dumb way. More like you seem smart in a... Uh, in a defeatist and and fearful way, where like you're trying to calculate the like the way to like I don't know you're you're trying to calculate the way to like make sure that the the like I don't know death camp guard doesn't beat you to death, uh, and that sometimes involves selling people uh, other people out so that they are more favorable to you. Um, I am the most clever prison camp abusers of the system no look joke aside i think the maybe it's interesting because i'm not thinking through what you said about the fact that it's public and then this hurts the image there's definitely a political argument to be made there we'll see down the line if it does actually have a more bigger impact if it is such a big issue and your issue is more people not standing by it and should take massive issue with it 
what in your mind should be the response from other progressive left-wing streamers say Vosh or Destiny's community uh should be yeah I mean in my opinion um <laughs> in my opinion there's only one answer for these communities which is to be sure. is to redouble uh their advocacy for non-binary people uh to redouble their uh opposition to that type of behavior and to say no uh, we don't actually stand that's... for that and that would show that uh that the the organization can um can be the organization and the community can be stronger than the influence of a bad leader um aren't they doing that actively though why are they working for it right now um well yeah i mean in some ways but that's not really that's not really how it works when we're talking about an issue like this like you can't just you can't just coast by if you want to fix if you if your reputation gets well, damaged if, yeah so, if your goal know. is more for being politically advocate and doing more good work then you absolutely can because they're literally doing that they're making they're not condemning it and they're just moving forward and then just going with it and then actually doing the work for the political advocacy group um i don't know uh you can I, take issue with that but surely that would i don't i don't i don't i'm, so, I'm sorry I'm, I'm just i'm a little confused i you kind of lost me there so you're saying you're saying that um the correct thing to do would be for communities to look the other way um when there's a yeah. giant pr disaster i, I don't hang on, hang on. they're the Hang community on, no, that the, the, you're putting the, a lot of the people that are mad about this are the people you're talking about right now. Like this hasn't been well, popular in Vosh's community, for example. I follow a lot of Voshites. There, there's a lot of people who don't think this is cool. I have a very mixed, weird reputation with the Voshites, so I'm not sure what well. they think of me at the moment. Um, some love me, some despise me. Fascinating. Um, the point that I'm making is though, if you want to, like I said, if your issue is the statements that were made which like personally for me but i don't really have an issue with them well we like, know that but we know me. what your group well, chat's yeah. like okay so if your issue is i don't like this and i think this is bad and this person shouldn't be doing this and if my goal in both our goals are from the sound of it are political advocacy and pushing for mm -hmm. trans rights being improved and a larger amount of social support mm -hmm what good is done via outright saying this is bad but we should still support this group and if they're doing work that does support it then that seems to be a positive oh i mean i think that the only way that you get that that you get the good outcome is to be able to call out where the bad behavior otherwise it so just if... festers and become and that the organization will twist so would you say keffel's response is the correct shake no i think keffel's did it wrong in fact i think it would have been better if keffel said nothing I think the correct answer would have been to say, that's not appropriate. Uh, I don't think this is okay. Um, and uh, and certainly that's not, th this type of statement is not the type of stuff that my community would will stand what? for. Can I, I ask, what's your thing. core issue with the statement? Which one? Let's say if I said it. Okay, let's say if Which I, if it wasn't, let's remove Brianna. Let's say if I said it. I'm um, saying that Benny was dressing like a transvestite. You were calling a trans person a man. No, we're saying you're dressing no, like a No, don't, don't bullshit. That's what you're doing. Okay. You're doing, uh, yeah, the, you're will, doing the uh, silencer okay. meme, but you know we, no, everybody actually, no, can, okay, okay. anybody with a brain okay, knows what you're saying. Okay, don't, don't fucking lie. Let's, okay, let's say I say this trans person looks like a man in this photo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're being transphobic. And? You're being explicitly, undeniably transphobic. It's shitty. It's poor behavior. And? <laughs> and? Okay, there you have it. If you yeah, don't care like, about, I, if you don't care about that, if you don't care I, I about literally... being transphobic to somebody, then that just shows that you have different values. If you it, don't it, give it, a shit it, about it, being it, a it transphobe- It just goes to the level of, I said this person looks bad and I'm being mean it's, in no, this it's, way. No, it's not look... that. You are, de you are dehumanizing someone specifically based on their trans identity. This is, do you not hear yourself right now? This Remember how I said that your faction um, and your, your network of your type okay. of, of people that you're talking about here are totally alienating? Most people, when you go, uh, when they go, hey, is it a cool thing to like on the left and the liberals? No, I'm not saying is it cool. It's mean. It's catty. I'm not debating. It's that. not just mean or catty. You know what you're doing. You are acting out of prejudice and hate, and you're doing so specifically to otherize somebody who belongs to the same group as you when you should know better. And then, of course, it gets even worse when you and go to the. And I'm pretty sure Benny's blocked me on everything now. But I was about to say, if Benny wants to hate on me and say I look fat in a photo or like i have man looking wrists or anything i'm 
gonna accept yeah, it as a stab what? back. But like, you know that Benny's not gonna do that. Oh, I and, think Benny's uh, deranged, but you can think that. But you're the one looking bad right now. And that's the that's the real tragic thing but, uh, because there's genuine there's genuine there's, there's genuine reasons there's a lot of genuine reasons but, to criticize Benny but you guys are the think... ones you guys you just you just can't get out of it you can't oh, see on. what we it made... looks like well you no can't we mainly see what call, you look like we mainly call her deranged tanky that's the main thing I hate on but um that that time yeah we took a gets yeah, hot being, shot at hot, shot, hot hot take being transphobic is fucking shitty and you shouldn't do it even to people you don't like it's just a shitty thing to do. It's bad. It's hurtful. I don't think I don't think the level of that level of transphobic matters to the average voter. Well, uh, we're not talking about the average voter, are we? We've been through this. Yes, like 15 we were. Times. That was no, the. No, we're no, looping that kind again. Of we're looping comes, again. We are we're looping. Not, we're not but talking about the average voter. About. No, the average voter. Okay. The average voter doesn't even know who fucking Brianna Wu is. True. The average voter has never heard of fucking progressive victory and never will. You are not talking about the average voter. You, you you pivot back to this now because it's inconvenient because you couldn't grapple with the other things that I said, which is the fact President that- President Sunday, do not talk shit about me in chat without responding to my messages. Sorry, I just wanted to talk, call him out there. I'm still mad at him. Um, oh, sorry, God. sorry to interrupt there, apologies. Um, uh, yeah, um, again, uh, I've been through this. We're looping, we're looping a little bit um, because yeah. uh, uh, I already said, like I said, the, the group that, that Brianna Wu has- has been pitching herself to, that, that she's trying to market herself to. And when she, yeah. I mean, even admittedly in your own chat, oh, uh, I'm a public figure and it wasn't worth the headache. So I had to say this thing, um, which uh, is, is fucking duplicitous as two faces shit. But uh, the fact that she's hey, doing that demonstrates not, that's who she's I'm pitching not, to. Yeah. That's the person that she's trying to win over and she f just fucked herself over with that demographic. It's really simple for anybody outside of your group to see this. Every, It's not hard for people to understand, ah, damn, that's kind of shitty. It's, this is bad. That's a bad look. Yeah, it's yeah. terrible yeah, and, it's, people, and it's going to have a, a serious issue. Which is, which yeah, seems but, to be what the average again. normie with a politically involved community thinks of it. Like literally look at Shoe, Destiny, even Mosh, most of Vosh's chat that I saw kind of felt nothing better about it. You may have changed since, but to most of those people who their political follower is being okay, involved in this and again, actually want to do real politics. You're, 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 it, you're cope pivoting. The fact of the matter is that Progressive Victory is a fairly small organization that is currently mm -hmm. trying to build its presence and get people to get involved via trust. And that trust has been damaged. That's a serious thing. The only way... I'm doing the world a favor. I'm doing progressive victory and even Brianna Wu a favor by being a measured but harsh critic, which means I'm giving people the opportunity to actually improve by not fucking sticking my head in the sand and pretending it didn't happen. If you do that, you build resentment and you build hate. Those people who, who, are, who are hurt by that thing or who feel like this is distrustful, uh, they will just simply go, fuck this shit. Fuck these people. These people don't have my interests at heart. I'm not going to help. I'm not going to tell my I, friends to help. I do. So. I, I, I literally just Oops. can't understand. Maybe, maybe I'm weird. Maybe I just, I cannot understand that one transphobic comment to someone as a joke to friends generally means someone does not care about having a progressive victory and actually trying to gain actual politics and an improvement for, like, we, we've had talked and we seem like we unify on most of what we think would be good for people and most trans people, both Listen. medically, socially, going forward. Okay, but okay, okay, do you Gallagher. Think I... okay, Gallagher, yeah. you um, are, are suffering from a severe myopia right now, like a severe perspective issue. You don't care about that and maybe some people wouldn't even care uh, besides saying you're a piece of shit as yourself a you know small follower non-public figure rando on the internet uh uh that's fine but that's not who brianna Wu is that's not who brianna Wu is and that's not who brianna Wu has presented herself to other people as i don't think you really get uh, the fact that Brianna Wu has made extensive... I mean, fuck, I even have a tweet here of her r raging about Bernie bros sexism and tra papering over sexism and transphobia in the Bernie movement, which is exactly what you are arguing and what she is arguing to do by trying to paper over this. It's hypocritical. People don't like it. It looks bad. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, 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 uh it's, it's distrustful. It's, it's duplicitous. These are all things that regular people care about, especially 
on people who are trying to become the, a leader in a movement or claiming that they deserve to be a leader, okay? And anybody who can step out of their perspective would realize that this is duplicitous, that representing yourself as a paragon, representing yourself as a leader of a progressive movement and then being a piece of shit in a very specific way that goes counteract to what you've preached in private is a, is a conflict that damages trust. You see what I, I mean? I don't want to make a statement for Brianna. Yeah. I consider her a friend, but I, I'll say this. I consume, she can correct me. I would assume, and everything I've known in every single chat we've ever had, I would not in any way say I've ever seen anything from her that counteracts or goes against what I know she wants to achieve that. politically, progressively, for both the country, the world, and trans people. She's far more left wing than me. Like, I, I... she's a big progressive and leftist I do and think, has a I do far think... stronger left wing votes than me. And I've never once seen anything which would counter that. Not a single thing. I, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know how to tell you that. If you're I don't know how to, I don't know how to tell you this. I don't know how to tell you this, but, um, but again, uh, you know, uh, you vociferously defending her is probably doing more damage to her PR at the moment given maybe, your Twitter maybe. presence I, and your group I, chat presence. I said right I'm going to regret this, and I... Listen, you shouldn't does, regret this. Her. You genuinely I shouldn't do. regret this. You shouldn't. We had a genuine and deep conversation, uh, and uh, you you shouldn't regret this. And if your friends make you feel bad about talking to me, um, that should tell you something about your friends. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't want to go back through the whole Brianna Wu thing again because that's honestly an ancillary to everything else we've been talking about. And I feel like we've like looped on it like four times. Um, but what I will say, what time is it? Fuck, it's getting late. It's almost one o'clock where I'm at. Okay. You should go to bed. Yeah, you listen. You have burger um, and you should just go hang with your partner. That sounds much more beneficial than this. Well, I don't know. Right now, I, I still have almost 500 people watching me, and uh, a lot of people seem to be having a good time engaging with this, and uh, I've definitely been getting the uh, the donations. So, I and also I feel like this has been a uh, uh, an educational topic. So I feel like there's like 10 pluses in the correct direction, at least for Actually. me. Um, I'd just be very curious to see the opinion of someone who isn't both of us in these very unique positions. Well, I mean, I think you can do that fairly easily, right? Like, I mean, if you get out of your bubble and you're willing to engage and talk with other people, I mean, I don't know how possible that is for you, given reputation and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But if you were There's able to, I think you would be. Outside. I think you would be realistic. I think realistically, you would be able to see that there's a lot of people who are rightfully frustrated about this type of stuff. Um, and, uh, that, that, that the downplaying it, downplaying it. What's that? Can you see why people on my side are also frustrated though? Oh yeah. Like, it's super, it's right. super easy to tell why people on your side are frustrated at it because you think that the takes that the, the, the shitty shit was based. Basically you're bad people. That's why you think it's good. It's, it's that simple. And I'm not saying you specifically, I just mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't think you're like a rotten, evil person. I've actually quite enjoyed this conversation. I mean, God, we've been talking forever. But I mean, like, yeah, um, not giving a shit and just looking the other way when somebody does something like that, it's pretty shitty. And your chat is full of it. Your chat is like teeming with it. It's like a giant toilet and you're all splashing around in it. And you go, what? You guys can't understand what, why, what, you know, what's going on in here? And everybody goes, yeah, no, you're swimming in shit. But um, I don't know why you're you doing know it. I think everyone has the right to, in private, be a bit of a shit person if they if it helps them express themselves. And I don't think we should place that. Maybe that's a hot take. I don't like. Yeah, I'm not saying, but no one's making this for. This is a public opinion that someone's going to give to it. Um, maybe I am a bad person, but I think everyone has, in some way, a private side that they talk about to certain people. And I um, just that's true, but that's not what happened here. And it's incorrect. It is a flat lie. To There's the angry them. messages. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, no, of course. Nothing. Of course, some people are going to get frustrated at you after this. But um, because uh, but whatever, that's kind of a shitty. But you need to understand a, a 20 plus person group chat, first of all, isn't uh, isn't private. OK, that's not what private means. A 20 yeah, plus it was too big. Agreed. But 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 hold on. No, no, I don't. It's not just a matter of, of two. I mean, too big is a thing. A 20 person group chat is the same as hanging out in a bar on a, like a small bar and, and, but, but declaring your messages and declaring your conversation in such a way that every person in the bar can hear and see them. So that's not private. 
in, in any rational sense that isn't social media, that would be public. Um, so that's the first thing. And secondly, um, this, again, this was not being engaged with on a private manner. This was being engaged with, with a public facing PR account. Brianna Wu's account on Twitter is for, is being used for political PR. Nothing about this was private. Private is when you're having a conversation on the phone with your friend in the backyard and you're goofing around and you say a joke that's a little edgy, but you know that your friend is, uh, is okay with it. And the context means it's just you two and you're having a funny joke and whatever. And then it goes nowhere and nobody gets hurt by it because both your friends are in on it. You know, uh, it's a joke where, uh, you know, you make fun of each other's autistic hyperfixations when you're hanging out uh, and drinking beer with your you and your partners, you know, three people. That's private. Twenty person group chat on public being engaged with by a by the executive director of Rebellion Pack's main account that they use to promote their pol political stuff is not private. And you just need to stop coping about that. And you would sound so much more. People would respect you so much more if you stopped coping about it. And like just trying to lie to people because that's not what it was. And everybody knows okay, it was. I can definitely bite the bullet and say, yeah, maybe Brianna shouldn't do that on that account. But I also think she has the right to be a real human and just speak out whatever's on their mind. No one has said that, that Brianna doesn't have the right to be a real human. Not and one I think the actual political work speaks for a lot and I support them in that. And I've mo once again stated, I am speaking for me. I do not speak for them. And I hope them the best in everything they're doing. And this is only a representation of me, but I have never seen anything but progressive and dedicated work and for the interests of the left movement democratic growth and trans people from them so all right i don't know well i don't know what like, to say at that point yeah I i've mean, learned again, definitely we... a lot about i definitely feel almost slightly stronger the abolition versus assimilation feeling is almost reinforced to an anarchism versus statism debate and i think there's a very interesting philosophical and political deeper discussion in PhD someone probably should write on that at some well, point. Well, I, so I just I kind of feel like the, I do feel like the way <laughs> yeah. that you're that you're you're trying to invoke that is to try and like thought terminate. Like you'd be like, "Oh, this is just anarchism." But in truth, um when I laid oh. out the things that I said, you actually largely uh found them com compelling and interesting or well, yes. at least you engage with them I, a lot. So, I don't know. And I uh, uh I said I think it utopian. I wouldn't put it down as dismissive. Well, uh, I don't know. It works in a lot of places, and I think we should continue to make it work in a lot of places, and that we should fight very hard in the places that are already held by deranged aut aut autocratic dictatorships, that we shouldn't play nice with them, that we should be ready to engage to fight against them, to literally uh, do whatever we can to liberate trans people from those places. The red states and... that have locked themselves into deranged positions, uh, no amount of, uh, of, of appeasement, medicalist appeasement, is going to get them to change their minds. You have to recognize that those trans people who are living there need help, uh, uh, need help either escaping or need help uh, fighting back in incredibly aggressive ways, which will not just, which it, a medicalist argument is not going to account for. A liberationist argument is the only way that you can say, oh, wait a second, there is a governor who actually believes that I shouldn't exist, and they don't even care whether it's medical or mental or not. They don't give a shit. They just don't think trans people should exist, and they think that all trans people are, uh, you know, converting their kids. We need to fight back against this hard, and fighting it back against that hard cannot does not look like just having arguments on the internet uh it looks a lot more like uh it looks a lot more like jewish resistance against nazi germany i just once again this is it does feel like i'm just the sad liberal to your audience and this is my position at the end of the day both me you and brianna are going to be there at the i'm not because i don't live there we're all going to be at the polling booth and all voting democrat to try and push for the left-wing politics well i'm uh, uh, center left whatever mm -hmm. the politics we think are going to do the most help for well like me and you trans people and mm -hmm. all the people around that for both political goal we're all going to be there voting democrat together the difference all of us see is how we get the people behind us also there to vote democrat and we have different ways and we have different beliefs and we have core logic on how we want to be perceived and engage with it i actually gained a bit of respect for you in this call but i Still think we have just have. utterly Good. different goals. I hope it's mutual. I think I, um, I think it was, I don't uh... hate you. I don't, oh, I don't, I, know I, don't, I, don't I don't know. I don't think I know you well enough from this conversation to the like or hate you. I enjoyed this conversation, right. and uh, I oh. don't know. Like I, I feel and I, like I'll, and I'll be first to admit I have friends who definitely hate you and have a weird oh, yeah, grudge sure. against you. 
some of I them are really fucking crazy, Taylor. you know, like really fucking crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no. Hang on, hang on. I, all my friends will know this. They're a bunch of psychotic, spite fueled, crazy goblins. Some of them, but I love them because they're problematic, pe complex people. And you know what? Maybe I'm a weird person. I can make friends with those people. I can also make friends with even further left, left, left f further left people. And I think that's interesting. Okay, and now I'm gonna make my closing statement here, which I is I only made one. Go. No way. Uh, good try though. But um, oh, you don't. You want? Oh, you want to challenge me? I'll go real long now. I'll keep you here all night. Uh, the uh, so uh, my my uh, my plea to you is to change your fucking heart and uh, uh, seriously uh, think about the way that the 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 way that you engage with and think about people who are different than you, specifically non-binary people, is uh, uh, is in serious need of some grass touching, and also. If you love these people, these gremlins and goblins, whatever you want to call them, whatever the, you know, whatever whatever xenogender you give to your group of people, um, uh, seriously, um, don't enable them in behaviors that will come back to, and I don't mean haunt them like it's going to damage their careers. I mean mentally damage them. This fucking... Uh, uh, Blanchard flavored or Blanchard adjacent or sometimes outright Blanchard self hatey weird paranoid about all other types of trans people shit is so fucking unhealthy it is so fucking unhealthy it will mentally destroy you I've watched it destroy so many fucking beautiful trans people who've lost their minds to this fucking shit and if you really care about them uh, take your role as as the mom seriously and discourage this fucking heinous behavior and challenge them to think better and harder about this type of stuff because it's not healthy. It's not healthy at all and it's not good. And also realize that you have a lot of fucking allies. If you can get uh, out of your out of the the preconception for a moment, you've got a they them army already fighting that would be happy to fight alongside you if you weren't such a fucking asshole. Not you specifically but the group, okay? Realize that and think about that really deeply. And I think it will really benefit you and you'll find yourself happier and feeling safer and feeling like you actually have a chance because there are wins happening right now. And these stats that you bring up about, oh, trans people's favorability is falling, they mean nothing. These polls mean next to nothing. And I mean that, they're almost, they're ephemera. The way that the question, a small change in wording of the question can completely change the result. And you can't know what that actually means. We're having tons of wins, even here in the psychopath United States. We're having states that are making a stand and saying, no, we're putting trans rights explicitly in our constitution. And that is being pushed by the they them army that you're convinced is trying to hijack the movement to make things worse for you. If you went, if you lived in Oregon right now, you could get any surgery you fucking want, no fucking questions asked, no stupid fucking letters or psychoanalysis bullshit. You wanna change your body, get your FFS, get your electrolysis, you could have it done because of the fucking they them army that pushed for gender liberation, not for you being under a different slave master. Remember and that. That's okay? right if I lived in Oregon. That's great. I'm just saying. I live in a country where no surgery is covered, and well, politicians I've spoken changes. to, and politicians I've spoken to, think being trans is a choice. So why would the government pay for it? That sounds like a much deeper issue than just trans people. If they think it is, uh, yeah. So you can't. You're not going to win by rolling over. You win by going. That's fucking crazy, man. People have all kinds of medical needs, and you're so stingy that you want to try and deny it because uh, you don't under because of something you don't understand. How small-minded! Be strong. Stand. There's a bunch. Of, I know for a fact how many. I know a fuckload of 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 Australian they them's that are fighting right now to fight against the exact thing that you're talking about. And uh, I don't know. I guess you think they're hijacking huh. the movement. Whatever. That's my ending statement. Okay. Listen. It was actually a surprisingly uh, interesting conversation. I've actually quite enjoyed the conversation, even though there's been a lot of stuff. Obviously, we've disagreed a lot. It's it's um, been quite rambly, and I don't think we came to an agreement. But well, it was definitely I don't know interesting. That that's, I don't know if that ever happens in these types of conversations. But uh, we're not trying to agree. We're trying to speak to the audience. <laughs> I have a feeling that everything that I said to you tonight is going to bounce around in your head for a long time. That's all I'm going to say. I hope to some degree. Okay. And I just want to end on saying I hope to some degree 
you've gained a little bit more understanding for some of the issues and some of the reasons that some people prefer to still use the term transsexual and things that you'd consider trans transphobic is just part of a self-coping mechanism oh but i already knew that okay i'm not trying to be mean to you and i'm really not I, I'm, trying I'm not to come saying, across like a, like a sore conversationalist but like that's I'm not, not saying like i've engaged i've met I've, yeah I've, I've talked like i've had this type of conversation before and i don't find it compelling i don't find it compelling to say that like yeah like my coping mechanism is hurting other people and i'm gonna keep enabling that no you go wait this is an unhealthy coping mechanism but uh, yeah but i will say what i have gained is i've definitely learned a lot more about you and uh i'll be honest i have slightly more hope than i did before uh with regard to uh you and your group of people i uh well, i didn't expect that but, or on Twitter, so I'm sure we'll bounce around each other's worlds at some point. <laughs> well, hopefully next time it'll be very different. That will that be... right, next time I'm bringing Gami. Bye. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, all right. All right, you, you, you go ahead and uh, let's let's wrap this now, and i got to say goodnight to my stream, but uh, Do it. maybe we will talk right. again in the future. Bye for now. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Damn.